I survived 100 days in hardcore Minecraft, but in a snow only world. No jungles, no deserts, no iconic plains biomes, no oceans, just snow. Lots and lots of snow. So this was a pretty interesting 100 days challenge. So whether you're watching this video, listening to it while doing other things, falling asleep to it, or maybe even playing Minecraft while you're watching this, make sure to subscribe. Let me know what you think of this video and I hope you enjoy. Right, 100 days in a snow only world. <gasps> Wait, is that a village over there already? I, I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I'm so excited for this 100 days. Of course, this is going to be a bit of a different one. You know, we're going to face some challenges like trying to uh, trying to get a lot of resources that you can't actually find in a snow only world. But I'm sure we're going to manage to get it done. I'm sure we will do just fine. I'm actually going to grab these pumpkins so we can maybe make some uh, snow golems in the future. But I'm excited. Make sure to uh, let me know what you're doing while watching this video. I know some some of you are maybe sleeping. Some of you are listening to the video. You're probably doing other... I think a lot of people do other stuff while watching these, which is cool. You know, it's a little bit of like background noise. That's what I do, like with music usually and like podcasts and stuff. But yeah, hopefully you do enjoy this video. It's a bit of a... Uh, it's a bit of a perfect time to do it. Of course, it's December. It's almost Christmas. And speaking of Christmas, of course, we're in a snow only world. But if we could do some Christmassy builds, that would honestly be amazing. And I think I probably will. Maybe like a big snow globe, some like... Like little grottos. I don't know. Just some, some cool stuff. Mr. Rabbit, are you uh are you okay? Oh, you're fine. Yeah, don't know what was uh don't know what was going on there. Oh, hello, sir. Look at you. You're looking all cozy in your uh in your winter coat. Are you gonna give me some amazing loot though? Not in that house, apparently. What about the other houses? What's in here? We have nothing, 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 and Nothing. Although, to be fair, I will take a bed. We are going to need to sleep. Although, I'm now realizing my hunger is going down so quickly. Can we find some food here? Can we Can we, Can we? we get some grub around here, brother? I'm going to need to take these seeds over here. It's not food, but I'll be able to make my food. Oh, no, wait, it is food. I thought this was wheat seeds. we got carrots and potatoes. Amazing. Anything in here? Yeah, didn't think so. Look at us having to survive off just random villagers' potatoes. It's fine. I knew this was going to be a bit of a weird hundred days. It's going to get better, though. It'll get especially better when we can actually find ourselves some food. Okay, we've got no animals here. Great. Where do animals even spawn in this place? I've got no idea. Wait, I've just realized the pixels on the snow actually make it look textured. And speaking of pixels... This video is sponsored by Pixel Gun 3D. It's a free-to-play, fast-paced multiplayer shooter game available on iPhone, Android, and with the PC edition coming out soon. This awesome game includes over 1,500 unique, upgradable, and customizable guns, so there's something for everyone. The game also features dozens of game modes, including Battle Royale that looks amazing with the colorful Cubic Games graphics and its own unique charm, with a single-player campaign also out so you can play through that as well. Well, but not only that, if you're feeling like getting a bit creative, you know, you want to express yourself, you can with the character skin editor with tons of cool cosmetic items. Yo, my character looks sick. He's like an army guy. Oh, this ice ninja looks so cool. One day I'll be able to afford him. Now let's open a crate. Oh, that looks cool. Anyway, let's head into battle. And the other thing I like about Pixel Gun 3D is that they add new game modes throughout the year. They also even have monthly events. In fact, right now, there's a huge Christmas event happening in-game which can help you boost your initial progress. So, with all that being said, please make sure to download Pixel Gun 3D now from the link in the description. I'll see you on the battlefield. <gasps> we should make a Christmas tree. That would be cool. Wow, that is, a, uh, that is a lot of snow and that is a giant mountain. I feel like we're going to get a lot of those. I genuinely think these are like my favorite biome. I don't know why. I just I just think these are so cool. They're so Christmassy as well. Wait, actually, I'm gonna get some woods because I've got something really cool that I want to do that you've probably seen me do before. Let's just collect us some woods real quick. Make some planks. Crafting table. Sticks. Oh wait, we didn't even need sticks. We just need to do that. There we go. I'm gonna grab the crafting table because I've got very very limited resources at the moment. But if we just go around here, I need to be really careful of big drops like this. Believe it or not, this is actually my second attempt recording this video. The first time I just fell off one of these giant drops and died. Luckily. I was only a few days in. Look at this though. Are you ready? So we just need to do that. And then look, we can drift about. Oh, this is so fun. You go really fast though. Look how fast I'm going. Oh, I love doing this though. You can go so quick and you can just drift around and crash as well. You can actually get around really quickly. Oh, look at that. We found another village as well by doing this. Very cool. Wait, is that... 
Why did I think that was a potion just then? I'm actually going insane. Anyway, though, is this village going to treat us to some better stuff? We get nothing. Oh, wait, we get... Okay, we got some more food. We'll take that and we'll take some snowballs because why not? Can't wait to make myself some uh, some snow golems, some snowmen. Uh, did you just... Did you just take that seed? That was mine, brother. To be fair, they are actually yours, so I'll let you keep it. Nothing through here. I'm sorry, Mr. Pig, but I need food. Oh, another pig. Hello. Horse, you're safe because I can't get any food from you. Although, I am going to absolutely rob this hay. Sorry, buddy. Oh, you're a scary guy, aren't you? Wait, are you going to kill me? Okay, no, I don't think you are. Unless I just hit this guy right now. But we're, we're not going to do that because I don't feel like dying. <laughs> Wait, is there anything under here? I don't know why there would be, but I'm... Yeah, there's not. That's fine. We'll just keep searching around. Keep on... Oh. Wait, who was that? Oh, look. There's a little baby villager bouncing on his little baby bed. Hello, sir. I stole all this food from your family. Yeah. Oh, this is actually too fun. Oh, wait. There's an igloo. Do you guys... Okay. There, there's an igloo right here. And you guys may or may not know there's a little Easter egg with these things. So if we can find the entrance here it is if we break this block right here there should oh no it's underwater okay this is gonna be kind of dangerous but there should be stuff under okay wait no it's fine i don't know what happened to the villager is it um the villager is uh the villager's floating up there but we are here for this right here look at that we're gonna take all of this loot very nice we've got a golden apple that will come in useful and we'll take this potion because why not i'm not gonna lie i only found out about these recently they're pretty cool though and now we carry on our journey Journey. Oh my wait, this is actually the biggest ice lake I've ever seen. Whoa, this is this is crazy. Yeah, how fast am I going right now? Oh, this actually has to be like the fastest mode of transport in the world. Oh, this is about to be an amazing video. Now though, my only question is where am I going to live? I do want to live sort of near a village just so we can get villagers, but we don't need to live exactly in one. Oh wait, hello, uh, hello li little rabbits. I didn't even know you could get baby rabbits. I mean, that does make sense that you can, but I never thought about that. Anyway, anyway, as I was saying, I want to do a lot of cool builds, some Christmassy builds, so we need to find the right area to live to be fair this area right here isn't actually too bad we just need oh we're gonna stay away from you sir especially if you have a kid because then i'm pretty sure you're gonna attack me but yeah something like this would work i just want to explore a little bit more wait is that a portal over there i think it might be i am going to absolutely rob this thing is there a chest there is oh okay that's not actually too bad although the inventory is quickly filling up we need to quickly find a place for us to actually stay while i absolutely just steal this sugar cane right here. Where are we going to actually set up? Oh, these mountains are so cool. I'm pretty sure I'm like a billion blocks above sea level right now. Mm, almost. Whoa, that is a cool looking village. Although the hunger is dropping quick. Maybe we should actually try and... Um, okay, that is a bit of a drop. Let's not drop down there. Oh my goodness. Wait, do you reckon we can make that? Huh! Oh, please make it, please make it. Okay, we're fine. Oh, that was, that was kind of scary. <gasps> Whoa, look at all the snow. That's cool. Anyway, though, I think we should probably make some tools. In fact, do I even have enough woods? Nope, I've got zero. Right, let's use this stone axe I somehow got. I'm assuming it was one of the chests and grab some wood real quick. So what tools can we make? I'm not going to lie. I am literally never going to use these gold tools, so we can just chuck those away. We'll make a sword. We've already got an axe. We can make a pickaxe. And then if I just make some more sticks, we can also make a shovel. Oh, wait, I need stone anyway to make a furnace so why didn't i just make a normal pickaxe and then just make all stone tools okay i'm actually kind of dumb it's all right though we'll use these up just because you know we don't want to we don't want them to go to waste and then we'll make some stone tools maybe some iron some diamonds some netherite oh, i'm getting ahead of myself let's just concentrate on uh, making a furnace first so there's that that can go there and that can go there now we wait. Now, I don't know if I want to cook up my other food. In fact, no, we'll just leave it for now. I think we've probably got enough potatoes. Well, I'm hoping so anyway. That should be fine, right? 16 potatoes. Now, though, it is time to go on a little journey. A journey to actually find out where I want to live. So we can actually get doing some really cool stuff. First of all, I'm just going to kill Mr. Creeper over here. Oh, we'll take the gunpowder. We'll take these random bones and arrows, I guess. We're going to steal all of this. Actually, Actually... Uh, yeah, we'll take the leggings. Look at me. I'm like Iron Man, but Gold Man and with less armor. Anyway, let's go and find somewhere to live. I need to start building my little winter wonderland.
Oh, no tree. Oh, I was not able to uh, save this tree. There seems to have been a, a bit of a fault. Well, not really a forest fire, just a single tree fire. But in other news, I think we have found where we're going to live. We've got a nice little village right here. And look at all of this flat land. If I go and take a look at this, and it seems good, I think we're, I think we're going to be living here. Oh, wait, there's, there's a lot of sugar cane here. I will take that. How are we meant to grow sugar cane without any water? Look at this. But yeah, I feel like we should actually live here. We are going to have to flatten out this area so we can build a nice house. But this looks pretty good. We've got a village so we can get villagers. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have found our new home. Well, our new land for our new home. But I'm not going to lie. I feel like we need to flatten this area out a bit because this is kind of big. But we're going to need more space than this. We want to make a big house. Well, a decent sized house for now. I'm sure we'll upgrade in the future. So let's just make ourselves a stone shovel. And let's just flatten this area out a little bit. Look at this. This is such like a satisfying thing to look at. This nice flat area to build a house on. Look, so so much room for activities. One of those activities being killing creepers. Get out of here, buddy. We don't need you. Oh, and your friends. They they want the smoke as well, do they? No problem. To be fair, I'll probably be able to use the gunpowder. Gonna be blowing up 10,000 TNT in this 100 days. That... That, that was a joke. Eh, uh, you never know, I suppose. Thinking about it, I actually can't wait to go to, like, the nether in the end. That's gonna be cool. Oh, yeah, I, uh, may have made too many shovels, by the way. It's fine, I'm sure we'll use them at some point. Now, though, the house. Um, there's one problem. I don't really have materials to build a house. I'll probably look up some designs on Google to get some like wintry sort of houses, but at the same time, I feel like I can already guess what we're going to need, and that's a lot of spruce. Anyone get the uh, the stampy reference there? I know the OGs in the comment section will know what I'm talking about. It's a shame we can't just get like forests of this stuff. We're having to go to like random just trees scattered all over this place. It's fine. We'll be able to get loads of wood. It's just going to take a little bit longer than expected, which is fine. Ow, I thought I could make that jump. Turns out I'm not actually Indiana Jones. I'm hoping by the time this axe breaks, we're going to have enough woods. To be fair, we'll probably just mine wood until this axe does break. I mean, I don't know how much durability stone axes actually have, but I suppose we're about to find out. But before we do that, um, yeah, sorry, I, uh, I don't, I don't mind if I do. Do they just keep replanting crops after I break them? That would be so useful. I hope they do. That was another thing. I'm actually running out of food. I'm having to use just random foods that I've got in my chest, like this bread, for example. I've already used up my carrots and all my other cooked potatoes. Maybe we'll have to go fishing like a true, uh, a true, a true winter villager or whatever these guys are called. Anyway, let's go get ourselves some logs. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like we're definitely going to need another axe. Something tells me 55 spruce logs isn't going to be enough for a whole house. Not that it's going to be the craziest house. Of course, this is just the start of this mad 100 days adventure. Actually, maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should build myself a forest here. Actually, no, that'll take way too long. We're just going to make one more axe and absolutely obliterate this thing. Call me Zetro the Lumberjack. No, there are way too many mobs in this area. I don't think my gold leggings are going to cut it. I'm just going to chuck all this wood in here for now. Oh, look at that. We've got a slowness arrow. They are not fun to get hit with. But we're going to chuck all that in there. And is there a cave around here? Probably not. Are we going to find one? I hope so. Goodness me, these gold leggings look so stupid. Wait, I just realized you can't see your feet in this game. Look at that. Never noticed that. Oh, there's a cave. Right, we get some copper. Do I need it? No. Are we going to take it? Yeah, because I... I've got no reason to take it. <gasps> oh, iron. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. If we could just get a few more, that is not going to happen. Wait, actually, I need to make some torches because if I don't, this is not going to be fun. And then as soon as we've got some uh, minerals and stuff, to be fair, I'll probably be able to use this like stone I'm going to get and everything for the house as well. But yeah, when that's all done, we'll be able to actually build our house. Just need to cook some of this up. Very nice. Torches in the offhand. Ready to go. Ready for my adventure. My adventure that hopefully won't end up killing me. Oh, we get a little bit more copper. We're going to take that copper right now because we're going to build ourselves a little old copper golem. No, we're we're not going to do that. Oh, we are going to kill this guy, though. Whoa, you are doing so much damage to me. It's unfunny. Oh, we've got a little bit more cave to go. I'm just going to grab this coal real quick. We get one, we get two, we get two. You know what? That's fine. As long as this cave keeps going and we can get some more stuff, that would be beautiful. Um... Never mind. What about this way? Come on. I've got I've got more faith in this way. More copper. I'm just going to take it because why not? We've barely got anything at the moment. I've, I've, I thought I mined enough ores in the last video, but apparently not. Looks like we're carrying on that trend. Hello there, buddy. 
Anything around here? Absolutely not. Maybe this other way. I don't, I'm going to assume this doesn't lead to anything. And I was exactly correct because I'm such a pro Minecrafter. I can just tell. And just as I'm saying I'm a pro Minecrafter, I literally found that jump. Sick one. Oh, is this another cave? Um, maybe. Oh, this actually looks. Oh, no, there's a skeleton. I was going to say this looks promising, but I don't know if I'm going to. Oh, no, it's not a skeleton. Okay, it's a zombie. I can deal with that. Skeletons are much worse. Are you going to give me your armor? You are not. Great. To be fair, that's fine. Gold armor isn't great anyway, but if we can get some iron here, that would be amazing. Whoa. Okay. We'll take that. Although this cave is going very deep. If we could just get like a massive iron ore vein right here and not have to go down any low, that would be great. But looks like we're looks like we're going to have to keep going down. We can't even get redstone and all that. If we, if we get diamonds, we can't even get those because we don't even have an iron pickaxe. But if we can just get iron, I'm happy with that. Oh, <gasps> no way. Okay, I'm going to grab. Actually, wait. Can I? Oh, I don't have a way of smelting it. Okay, we're going to grab these quads and we'll come back for those diamonds. If I remember. Oh, we get a... Is this a mob spawner? Oh, it's a skeleton mob spawner. No, please stay back. Please stay back. Oh, no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Whew. Okay, that was not fun. Let's just regen so we can go back in there. There we go. That's the skeletons gone. We're going to... Actually, no, we're not going to break that. We're going to keep this. We're going to grab those cords. Anything in here? There's there's some decent stuff. We'll just take it all. If we could get a music disc, that would be cool. I mean, I couldn't play it. Oh, we okay. We, we get one. Not the best one, but I'll take it. Not that we can even play it right now. Oh, wait. There's some iron up here. Oh. <gasps> Wait, there's copper. Actually, we don't really need the copper. Oh, we can actually get lapis, technically. I don't think... Yeah, this this doesn't need an iron pickaxe. So we will gladly take that. Not that we can use it for enchanting yet, but one day. One day. We'll dream big. Oh, we get some more iron. Oh, actually, a decent amount of iron here. Okay. There's a, there's a fair few. How many have we got? We're at 12. Okay. 12, you need about, what, 21 or 24 for full iron? That's not too bad. We're getting there. We could just get a few more. And I am hopeful. This is this is looking promising. It's a pretty decent sized cave. Come on, iron. I know you're out there somewhere. Oh, it's you again. Hello. Wait, we're going so low right now. Watch. I'm going to go this low and there's not even going to be anything down here. Oh, there's a creeper. Let's be careful of him. Go on. Look, Mr. Spider. There we go. Oh, you didn't even die. There we go. Oh, okay. This could actually be good. We get some things that kind of look like diamonds, but they're not. Look, I'm going to run into the lava. Joking. Imagine that actually just started burning me. I'd probably die. Actually, let's not imagine that. I would love to imagine some iron, though. Does iron even spawn this low? I've got no clue. <gasps> Wait. What? This cave is massive. Okay, we're, I, I'm happy. Well, I'd be even happier if we could actually find some... Oh, hello. I'd be happier if we could find some... Oh, no, there's diamonds, but we need iron. Come on, there's got to be iron around here somewhere. We're getting gold, redstone, diamonds, but no iron. How am I going to make more golems to protect the villagers? And also armor to protect myself. Okay, this is literally just a dead end. Wait, no, that spider's on fire. Can I save you? Oh, no. Too late. To be fair, it's probably a good idea I didn't save him. I think he would just try and kill me anyway. You would, wouldn't you? Yep, thought so. Hmm, this cave might not be as good as I thought it was. That's unfortunate. Oh, there are some zombies, though. Get out of here. Oh, and that's my sword broke. Okay, it's fine. We'll resort to the axe. I'm pretty sure axes are actually better anyway, especially this stone one compared to the sword. Oh, there we go. Oh, and there's one more. Of course there is. Whew, I am getting low, 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 low. It's right. We've got the power of jacket potatoes on our side. Anyway, though, where's the iron at? Let's come on. Let's go find some. We need some iron. I'm right now. That was close. Oh, I really need this armor. These mobs are actually the worst. Okay, I'm just going to have to eat this golden apple. I don't want to be taking any risks. Go on, buddy. Get out of here. You're, you're the worst. Actually, let's let a creeper blow you up. There we go. Right, where's the iron? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, creeper. Okay, this cave is terrible. I need to get out of here. But first, apparently, I have to beat a zombie apocalypse. Get out of here, buddy. Yeah, this cave is terrible, but what's even more terrible is it's going to take me about 19 million hours to break out of here because I've got a stone pickaxe and a mining deep slate. <sighs> Fantastic. Oh, I think we found our way out. <gasps> oh, we get some iron. Wait, is this the same cave? I don't know, but either way, I'm taking the iron. I'm happy with that. It'd be a bit better if we had fortune for all this. Okay, we're at 20. Not quite what we need, but we're getting there. Oh, this cave looks insane, though. What? This cave is giant, but that also means there's loads of mobs. I can't even get the iron over there oh wait i can get this quick piece of iron don't blow up please mr creeper 
and he blew up the iron great this cave is crazy okay you know what i've grabbed the cords for this cave we're gonna come back here i just need to grab some armor if i want to explore this thing because yeah th 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 there's too many mobs we need armor but we also should probably get a shield it's fine we'll figure it out i'm just gonna go home quickly uh home sweet home right so what do we need to do first of all we need some food so i'm just gonna make myself a sword real quick and we're gonna go on a killing spree killing every animal in sight because i i need food badly Whoa, we got the, we got the, we got the Grand Canyon over here. We got the snowy Grand Canyon. Look at that. Although I'm not going to lie. I don't know if you can tell from the footage you just saw, but my, um, my animal killing spree isn't going too well with, there's either no animals or these bunnies that just run away way too quickly. So, um, yeah, this, uh, it's not going well. There are literally no animals here whatsoever. It's crazy. There's not many cows and pigs in uh, snow biomes, believe it or not. Would have thought we'd see some reindeers by now. Oh, could I make this jump oh i don't know oh there's a polar bear right there okay this might be a really dumb idea <gasps> Ooh, okay let's get out of here before you start attacking me wait oh are you gonna yeah you're definitely gonna try and attack me okay oh we got some cows though okay this is surprising maybe it's because it's near a village i have no idea but i'll take him either way oh and it started snowing very very Christmassy. wait i've just realized these villagers have a lot of blocks that i could be using like these lanterns for example maybe i should go and steal a bunch of blocks from here for my own house that i'm going to be making soon maybe i'll have to do that right now though i need to get home if i can actually find my home in this literal blizzard here we are we have arrived back home oh i don't really know if you can call this place home but anyway we're, we're gonna go with that my question is do we have enough materials to make a fishing rod actually wait i think i do if we just do that yeah there we go gonna chuck all the other stuff in here for now because i think it's time for us to do a little bit of fishing seeing as i've got basically no food if i dig a hole in this is that gonna work or is it then just gonna cover up again i'm not too sure we're just gonna do that and hope that it works but i don't know if it will let's do some fishing so we can actually get on with the more interesting stuff All right, now it looks like we've got some cooking up to do. So wait, how much fuel do we have? Okay, five charcoal might be enough. It might not be, but first of all, we need to cook up all of this iron. We're gonna cook up some more logs just so I've got more charcoal to burn with. So now we can cook up all of our fish so we can actually get on with the important stuff. Come on, take your time. There we go, we'll take them. And we'll take those. And that actually should be about everything we need. We just need to, of course, actually make ourselves some armor. So we'll make a helmet, we'll make boots. We can make a chest plate if i can remember how to do it there we go of course i don't really need leggings yet on oh, they've gone breaking didn't even realize look at me though i think we're good to go we are now invincible well not invincible but we're getting there let's just whack the fishing rod there put the shovel there get a new shovel i'm gonna make a new axe because mine broke from i think killing zombies earlier and then with the leftover iron we're just gonna make an iron sword and an iron pickaxe because they're the only really iron tools that we actually need and the ones that we can actually afford look at us go hello mr piggy that was either dr pork chop from toy story he deserved that now about those village materials here's the thing i don't really want to take them from over here because we we want this village to actually look nice seeing as it's near my house but the ones down here we don't care we do not care they can be destroyed wait oh i don't have my boat with me okay i guess we're we're just gonna have to ice skate like a peasant oh look at this terrible i am terribly sorry to do this to you mr village but it's got to be done you know my house is more important it's just how the food chain works well, I don't, I don't think it actually is. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I don't have to make sense. I, I own the place. So we're going to grab lanterns. To be fair, if we can just grab every single lantern. Actually, we may as well just destroy the whole village at this point. Probably not a good thing for the villagers. But I mean, let's be real. I think they'll be all right. Let's just collect up all of these lanterns just like so. Because you got to think, these are actually kind of expensive to make. And especially when you've got like no iron to your name. So it's actually useful that we can just go ahead and steal. I mean borrow all of these borrow them permanently of course oh hello there buddy oh you don't kill me don't kill me don't kill me don't kill me Whew. <laughs> i actually got so scared just then thought that was about to be this video over but it's fine fish bash bosh boom you're dead i am such a pro anyway what else can we steal i mean borrow forever wouldn't mind a couple more lanterns of course you know why not you can never have too many i'm gonna steal some doors so i don't have to make any of those whatsoever i can just pop these ones down sorry sorry guys you're gonna have 
literally in no privacy in your homes. Oh, did I miss a lantern? How dare I? What am I doing? Mm, what else do we want? We want this food because, you know, why not? Oh, books. These could be kind of useful. Don't mind if I do, buddy. Hopefully you can uh, you can still do your job without them, but I, I don't know. To be honest, that, that doesn't really concern me. As long as I've got the books, I'm happy. And we're taking every last one of these bad boys. Wait, can we collect up ice without silk touch? No, we can't. We can, however, steal these beds. I feel like the blue ones will actually be quite cool to have in our house rather than just plain Jane White. Very nice. And we'll just take plain white as well. We could we can never have too many. To be fair, I'll probably need these if I breed villagers later on. Wait, did I leave this chest? How dare I? No house shall go unlooted. And there is nothing in this house anyway. Oh, we can't forget the bell, the staple of a village. We're going to take your crops because I'm more important than you. Oh, the composter. That's actually a good thing as well. We need that. That will actually be quite useful for bone meal if we do end up making a forest. We'll take this one as well. We've got some furnaces, another door, whatever this choppy thing is more lanterns some fences they could be useful as well oh we've got a little uh, a little village meeting going on here wait did i ring the bell is that why i'm not sure isn't this the villager with literally like no job is that like one employed friend in the group at 2 a.m why do these green ones always just not do anything it's fine you just lounge about buddy do what you want in fact while they do that i'm gonna go ahead and destroy a couple of houses just to get us a bunch of random materials that we could use for building There we go. I think now we've probably got enough materials with everything here and all of the ones I've, of course, got back home to get building our big old house. Well, I don't know how big it's actually going to be at the moment, but it's it's going to be a cool house nonetheless. Maybe it will look a little bit like a gingerbread house. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. I need to actually find a design for a house first, but we can do that when we've actually found our home. I think... Oh, there it is. Far in the distance. Home sweet home. Although home sweet home literally has no chests that are empty, so I'm going to have to make some more real quick. Those can go right right here and we can just whack all this in here do, 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 do. don't mind me just doing my job now i guess we uh we better find a house to build give me one second all right i think i've got an idea sort of we are gonna need to smelt up some of the stone i've got if we can just get rid of that snow there we go but it's fine we can start it without the stone as well i'm definitely gonna have to build it on a smaller scale so i think i want this house to go up around four blocks until like we have a balcony sort of thing and then we'll have one two three four five six blocks lock gap in between these two pillars like that actually no because we want the thing to be symmetrical don't we i've just realized oh there's a polar bear great you know what let's get rid of this pillar and this one and we're just gonna mark the center so let me just count this okay it should be 40 blocks so if i go in 18 but two blocks there that should be the middle so i suppose that's where the door will be speaking of doors here we go that can go there that can go there oh no that's completely wrong let's break this one and that should be right there we go fantastic so then we're gonna have a little pillar here and then one the other side as well we'll probably have glass going around here then we're gonna have a pillar here and here so we've got an eight block gap and then a six block gap here i think this is okay so then we've got a five block gap here and then like an eight block gap here and then we need to put a pillar here and here we're getting there we're getting there in fact we actually probably should do all like the basic sort of grounds for this build like the pillars you know the blocks going to the bottom and then we'll be able to actually start building up so, sort of sort of like building from the ground up isn't that literally a saying now when people say that saying i get what they mean in fact how is this stone looking okay we've got some we're gonna make some stone slabs we also want some cobblestone slabs and some of these more chiseled slabs as well there we go fantastic so then we're basically gonna have slabs going all the way along this sort of bottom area where the balcony is gonna be i am gonna switch the blocks in a second so they're not just stone i just want to do these first of all then we can go ahead and just take out some random ones here and there and uh give them give them a little switch up so we'll whack a cobblestone one there there here 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 and here then we can chuck down some of these other kind of ones as well i don't know what they're called like stone brick ones but we're just gonna chuck a few of those down there we go this is not really a small house is it i'm realizing that now oh well it's fine we do actually need to make some buttons to go on like this block of the pillar i think it adds a bit a bit of decoration looking good i'm using a thumbnail for inspiration so if you want to look at that video i'll leave that in the description for you but i am going to go a bit off track here and do things myself so we're going to get some of these good old spruce trap doors and they're going to go here here, 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 and you'll never guess what. Right there. Should we do them on these sides as well? Maybe we should. Let's do that. Oh, bear, I'm going to need you to get out of my way, buddy. There we go. Can we do that? Yep. I think this is going pretty well. Now, I'm going to work a little bit more in this front entrance. It's quickly becoming nighttime. And then once this little bit is done here, we can get working on the rest of our big old woodland. Well, it's not really a woodland mansion, but wintery 
snow house, cabin, winter wonderland, extravaganza. Yeah, that's it. Let's get to work. Now, it's looking good, but I definitely think we need to start doing some walls for the actual house so, you know, I can actually live in this thing. So, I'm just going to do walls all the way around that are going to be so, so plain, and then we're going to go through and change them. We'll add windows and a bunch of decoration and all that, but for now, they're, they're just going to be plain Jane. I think that's the second time I've said plain Jane this video. In fact, how tall should we do this? We'll do it. We'll do it this tall so it's the same height as, like, the balcony. It can all connect up. Speaking of balcony, I still need to finish that thing, but it's fine. We'll worry about that after these walls are done. We just want to make an actual house so I can start living in it. Well, maybe not living in it, but start filling it up. So let's just finish off these walls real quick. Looking good. Now I've got a bunch of slabs. I'm hoping I have enough to finish off this balcony thing up here. It shouldn't actually take too many slabs to be fair. Uh, I suppose we'll find out. Worst case, I can just go chop down some more trees. Actually, I think I have more wood in the chest if I don't have enough here. It would just be so much easier if I have got enough. Wait, what do we do here? I don't think we keep the balcony going there. I think there's going to be a window there so we'll just keep it going around here i'm not gonna lie i am completely guessing what i'm doing right now but i mean hopefully it actually works out in fact i need some more of those stripped logs here they are because that bit where i just said we need some windows i need to put some pillars well i think so we'll go like six blocks tall maybe that's two tall i'm not sure but we'll see five six i sound like a like dance teacher or something five six seven eight yeah that should be good and then i think you know what we're gonna do we're gonna go like diagonal and then we're gonna have a pillar here as well this is so not what what the person did in the tutorial well i'm not watching the tutorial but i don't think that's what they've done looking at the thumbnail but we're gonna go with it in fact that also means we need to do pillars around here so let's just build a little thing going around here that we can actually build the pillars on am i gonna run out of logs yes i am it's all right we're rich with words right now well actually that's a complete lie we're definitely gonna have to get some more at some point but for now we, we can keep going i'm just not sure where these pillars are gonna go of course we're gonna do one on the end maybe like three blocks tall because this is gonna be like windows i think or maybe we should go four blocks tall one two three four yeah that's better so we'll go and whack an extra one huh parkour and then we'll just do one right in the middle i suppose i think this is the middle yeah that works so we'll do the same this side we're gonna put a pillar here 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 and here okay we're definitely getting somewhere now i'm gonna go grab a bunch of sand from here or sorry steal a bunch of sand from here because we're gonna need a lot of glass and uh actually believe it or not sand itself isn't see-through so we're gonna have to go smelt it up oh rest in peace my wood supply is going down so quick we need more coal but oh well and we're gonna make a bunch of planes rather than using blocks i mean planes i realize i literally just called them planes like they're like they're a flying vehicle anyway how are we gonna do this i suppose they're just gonna go like on this layer yep that's uh that's the waste of a couple of couple of glass planes but yeah anyway i don't know how tall we should make them go actually we'll just put them four blocks like max height of what the pillars are i just realized that i've optified on so the glass looks really weird but yeah we'll put some here 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 and here let me just go ahead and build these up to the right height real quick okay looking good looking snazzy i don't think we're gonna have any here now we're gonna need a bunch of wood how much have we got we've got a decent amount here this should be enough actually it might not be we'll just have to see because i want to do the walls because we pretty much just need a big old shelf for this house so we'll go all the way to like here of course then go round to the other side. We'll build over this side to connect it up over here. I'm going to go up a little bit just to the first layer like so. How many blocks do we have to go up? One, two, three, four, five. Five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we can go ahead and connect these up just so we've got, like I said, the sort of the base for how this house is going to be, like the plan. Now let's just go up one more layer. Oh, no, wait, we don't want to do it here. We don't want to block off the windows. So I think we'll have to go out a layer like this. That should work. I'm not going to lie. I am completely guessing all of this, but we're going to hope it looks fine. So we need to go four blocks high like that. Four blocks high on this corner, just like so. And then, of course, four on this side so then we can connect these up once again give me a second and then we should be able to move on to actually doing the roof okay that should work i'm hoping this thing's actually gonna look good but we'll find out and then i'm just gonna do like a shelf for the roof but i'll do it in a time lapse because this is gonna take me way longer than i would like to admit
Okay, I'd say it's going kind of well. You know, it's not looking too bad. We are definitely getting there, but obviously we've got an issue. As you might be able to tell, I've completely run out of wood. And these trees are way too spread out. It would take so long if I actually want to go and get some more. And plus, I've broken a lot of the ones near me, so I'm going to have to travel further. So, what we're going to do is grab all my spruce saplings. I should have a few. Okay, I've got a couple more. That's not too bad. It's 26. And we're going to we're gonna make ourselves a bit of a forest going around here. To be fair, this would actually be good decoration for the house. Although they are going to get destroyed because if, if I don't destroy them, there will be no house. So I'm just going to place them all around here. We'll do them pretty spread out so they can all fully grow. And now I'll just go ahead and place the rest over here. It doesn't really matter too much where they are as long as they're not, you know, absolutely miles away. In fact, do I have bone meal? I wonder. Oh, I could get bones from that guy. Okay, we've got a couple bones here. None in this chest. Oh, we've got 18. Okay, that's quite a lot. And then another. Okay, I will take that. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and grow these things. We've got like a stack of bone meal. I did not think we would get that much, but there we go. Going to get all this done in no time. We are definitely going to grow some trees later on as like decoration around the house. Maybe like a little a little forest. Because this actually makes the house look a lot cooler, I think. Rather than just the house being plonked in the middle of nowhere with nothing around it. But yeah, of course, we're going to have to destroy these. Okay, there we go. Are you going to grow? Yes, you are. What about you? Are you going to grow? Yep. Do this one. And we'll do this one. Oh, wait. Do we have enough to do this one? <gasps> we do. Wait, I've got two more. Please work. One. One, two. No, never mind. This one, we've got a good amount. Oh, um, my axe has absolutely just broken. To be fair, it was only a wooden axe and it was uh, it was very destroyed. Can we make another one? I don't even know if I have the materials. Okay, we've got we've got stone. Do we have we have one stick? Fantastic. Oh wait, no, I literally just managed to break a log. There we go. We can make some sticks and an axe. Now let's go ahead and destroy all of these trees. Okay, now I think we've got enough wood to actually finish this roof. Maybe not the rest of the build, but we've, we can definitely finish this roof right now. Now, yes, we are getting there. The roof is actually done, but we've still got a bit more to do. What I'm going to do is actually finish the shell of the house, just like the walls and stuff. I know it's going to look really basic. But at least we'll have a home to be able to move into. And we can uh, we can move these guys out. Get out of here. Thinking you can just live here for free. You guys got to pay rent as well. Come on. Anyway, bear with me while I just do this real quick. Here we go. We now have sort of the shell of a house. It is very empty. I know, I know. We'll fix that. But it's definitely a good start and something that we can work with. It's a, it's a pretty decent sized house, especially for a 100 days video, I think. I don't know. Let me know what you think, though, of the house. I, I think it's not too bad. Definitely uh, definitely need some windows on this thing. Look at the state of this. But we'll get there. Thing is, though, I feel like we've been working on this for a bit too long. And we've got some tasks we need to complete, as you can imagine. Starting with food, because I'm very quickly running out. Fishing is not very, uh, it's not exactly the best method for food. So I think we're gonna go on a little bit of an exploration to maybe some different villages. Wait, did I even explore this village next to my house? I'm not too sure. But this is basically what we're gonna do. Steal, steal, steal. Oh, can I steal anything from here? Yes, I can. And we wanna basically just go to different villages, steal all of the crops to make ourselves one giant farm. Because once we've done that and we've got quite a decent amount of food to last us, our adventures, we've got some jobs to do, some very very interesting jobs that I'll show you very soon. Let's just say by the end of this, this is probably going to be the coolest 100 days I've actually done, in my opinion anyway. You know what's so funny? I'm ice skating right now in Minecraft, but I can't even ice skate in real life. In fact, you know what? I can't even swim in real life. How bad is that? It's actually terrible from you, Alfie. What are you doing, mate? Yes, my name is Alfie, just in case any of you didn't know. Oh, look at the size of that mountain, but even better, look at this village. You're going to have some crops for me, aren't you? That I can absolutely just rob. Here we are. We're going to take everything, if it's potatoes, carrots, wheat, anything. To be fair, carrots would probably be the best because I, you know, don't have enough already in my other Minecraft article world. But if we could get carrots, that'd be cool because it's more like Christmassy. I suppose carrots and potatoes. We could have ourselves a Christmas dinner by the end of this. Like I said, hopefully you guys do have a lovely Christmas or if you don't celebrate it, just have a lovely weekend or is Christmas on a weekday? I don't know. Hopefully you have a lovely month of December either way. A month of Zetro videos. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm trying to upload quite a 
a lot in December. I'm going for every Friday if possible, just because I've got so many video ideas. But we'll see how it goes. By the time this is out, you probably know how that's going. It might be going good, it might be going bad, but you know what is good? Another village. Very schnazzy. Anything? Oh, I spy with my little eye a farmer that I am absolutely going to rinse. Come on, where the village is at though? It's actually quite easy to find villages in this world, it seems like, which is quite good. It makes my life a lot easier. Oh, there's one at the top of this giant mountain. This mountain isn't even that high. It's just very long. Look at that. Hopefully, the village is even bigger. Bigger villages equals bigger crops. Well, more crops. Oh, what am I even saying at this point? Come on, village shower me in gifts and by gifts i mean carrots and potatoes and wheat seeds we'll take those as well any more gifts for me oh there we go now we're talking i feel like i'm getting barely any carrots so i've got actually quite a few potatoes wheat seeds and then like seven carrots it's fine though i've got like millions on my other worlds it's fine we we've got like two million on my other worlds we can do with a change You know what, guys? I would love to fight you right now because I could actually do with a totem. But looking at what I have, I don't think I'd be able to complete a raid right now. As much as I would like that, I don't really, I don't really have the facilities for that. You know, one day, one day I'll be able to. Is he still chasing me? Jeez, give up, man! Come on, I don't want to fight. You know, no violence. We can both just live happily in uh, in harmony, bro. What am I even saying right now? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna have to loot up this village. Well, I say loot, just steal all the crops, and then I think we're gonna have to head back home to actually, you know, build out, build our own farm rather than just freeloading off these guys because the more i run around the more i just start having to eat the crops that i'm getting which just doesn't make sense because that means i'm running around in circles for no reason literally look at my hunger right now look at the villagers are you looking i know it's crazy oh i thought there might be some more crops here but never mind now i just have to try and find my way home if that's even going to be possible we'll see i feel like i've run very far out just from the way we've run in circles i'm pretty sure i need to go very far this way i do have the coordinates in case i need them i'm pretty sure i took a screenshot i hope i did or else we're gonna be just making a brand new house if i can't find my home oh killer bunny let's not go anywhere near you goodness me are they killer bunnies i mean they've got red eyes so i think so i don't know i don't want to find out i'm just gonna keep running while I'm munching up all my bread to be fair we don't really need bread that's fine as long as we don't eat our other crops especially the carrots they are they are scarce but you know bread we're, we're breaded up we're fine we've got bread for days well maybe not days Oh, we're going to stay away from you. Goodness me, such angry polar bears, aren't they? To be fair, they are just uh, protecting their cubs. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I'm not exactly a zoologist, I'm not going to lie. If that's even a real word. Oh, look at that. Just some ice skating once again. I can see, what is it called again? A pillager outpost? Oh, they have alleys. Wait, I've only just gone into like 1.20 kind of updates, so I've never actually seen alleys before. If I could see some, that would be amazing. Although I definitely won't be able to fight the pillagers because, uh, yeah, look at look at the state of me. I will not be winning a raid battle anytime soon. But are there alleys in here? I swear they are. Are they like round here somewhere or am I just being dumb. Maybe they don't spawn in these biomes. Wait, what? I swear alleys are meant to be around here somewhere. There's iron golems. What? I thought you guys had alleys. I'm so disappointed. Oh, hello. Well, that's kind of sad. I actually have a jumper with an alley on just in real life, just in case anyone was wondering. Wait, what are these? Armory trims. Okay, I'll take them. Actually, to be fair, we could use the different kind of wood as well. We'll take all of this. Uh, can I survive? Oh, wait, if I go... There, here, then here. There we go. Look at that. I'm a little parkour pro. I am sad we couldn't see any alloys though. That's that's kind of annoying. Oh, well, maybe we'll find some at some point if they're even in this update. I'm in 1.20.1, so I'm sure they should be, but I don't know. Oh, we should get sugarcane as well. If we end up getting a light show, that could be pretty useful for fireworks, you know? Maybe make ourselves some cakes as well. Num, 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 num. Little, uh, little stampy reference for you there. Once again. Oh, yeah, he ended his uh, lovely world, didn't he? What do you guys think about that? Did you guys used to watch that? Maybe even none of you even watched him and it was just me i'm sure we've got some uh, we've got some stampy watchers in the, in the audience unless you're asleep right now and you don't even know what i'm saying oh my goodness i just ran from there to there and wasn't even looking and i just fell on this block that was so lucky that was almost about to be this world over goodness me that was close all right we need to be more careful when getting home i think we're almost there though we should be fine come on zetro just uh just be careful i'll be careful while i'm ice skating again whoa look at that beautiful giant house over there in amongst all the smaller village houses doesn't that look cool i want to go to that place i may be a little bit biased but no yeah 
actually think this place looks kind of cool. We just need so much decoration to actually make it look good. But it's fine. We've got the base layer for now. But now that we are home, we can... Wait, is that snow two blocks thick? It is. Oh, wait. Is it? Oh, I don't know. I'm so confused. Doesn't take much, does it? Anyway, though, we can get making our farm now. Let's just chuck all of this rubbish away. We only want a few things. We want our potatoes. We want the wheat and the wheat seeds, I suppose, as well. And we want the carrots. Oh, and the, yeah, the sugar cane as well. But where do we build this farm, though? Maybe we have it to the side of our house, sort of where this forest area is. That could be cool. We might need to flatten this area out a little bit. In fact, I am going to cook some of these potatoes because I'm getting so hungry and I'm not going to be able to eat if I don't. Lovely roast potatoes for our roast dinner. Or should I say Christmas dinner? So I suppose first up is destroying a bit of our forest. A little bit of good old deforestation. Never hurt. It. Well, it actually probably did hurt people. But anyway, deforestation. How many trees we're going to take down? I'm not too sure. To be fair, like I said, we're going to have to flatten this area out somehow as well. What? Maybe we should just do it on this level and we can just take out the blocks on this level. In fact, wait, I don't even have a shovel with me. That's a, that's a good start. I'm sure we still have plenty. Yep, there we go. So we'll take out... Yeah, we'll definitely do it on this layer. So if it this goes around like this and then we sort of keep it going around like this. Come on, this is literally pro terraforming right here. If you could even call this terraforming, I've got no idea. But anyway, we're going to go around like this. In fact, we should be collecting the snow as well. So then this part has to, of course, go... Actually, let's take out the tree first. We've got to, got to take advantage of the trees because we're probably going to need this wood. Well, we're definitely going to need this wood for the house, for the decoration. Instead of just breaking the dirt like this, I'm going to make sure we do grab the snow because I'm probably going to need it for some sort of decoration because, you know, we don't we don't have enough snow already. In fact, we'll have to place this snow, I just realized, because look at all this dirt. We don't want to wait for it to snow. It'll be easier if we can just place the snow ourselves. So let's just take all of this out. Oh, and just as I say that, my shovel has broken. It's a good thing I've got a few more, isn't it? Um, there's another shovel gone. Fantastic. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much, Mr. Chest. Nom, 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 nom. And back to this again. Now, do we want to take out all of these trees? I'm not sure. Maybe it would actually be cool to keep a few. If we just take out the middle ones, actually, where the farm's going to go, we can just leave the rest. Maybe make like a forest area behind the house. I think I said about that earlier. I still do think that would be cool. Maybe just have things in the forest. So as you go through the forest, you've got the farm. You've maybe got some sort of like little shed out the back. I'm not sure just some cool stuff. We'll see how it goes. I won't get too ahead of myself. We need to, of course, do this farm first. That's most important. So I can actually eat and survive to build the other things. So let's just take out a couple more trees real quick. I think we only need to take out maybe this one, just like that. Actually, we'll do this one as well. Let's take out this one as well. It's probably not doing my axe any favors breaking leaves with it, but oh well. Got to get into the tree somehow. In fact, speaking of leaves, let's just take out all of these just so we can see what kind of space we've got to, to work with, you know? Oh, but what are we going to do about all this mess though. We need snow. This is a snow only world, not grass only world. Well, and dirt. Actually, you know what? We'll build the farm first and then if we're missing any snow still, we can place that around it after because there's no point in placing snow here if we're just going to build on it. But what blocks do we need for our farm? Probably logs would look quite cool if we've got any others. Nope, we don't. I'm going to go chop down a couple more trees just to get some logs quickly. Bear with me. Okay, I'm hoping a couple of stacks is going to be enough. It should be. So I think we're going to start it about here. We'll go all the way down. We are going to do it. Actually, should we do it in the ground? No, we'll, we'll do it above ground, actually. So we'll start it here and we'll go round. This is like one of the classic, like, actual village sort of farms. But ours is going to be wider. So we'll go across this way. I need to make sure I don't misplace any wood now because my, my axe just broke. So it would take so long to bite if I do any of this wrong. But anyway, we're going to go all the way up to maybe like here actually let's build a bit here so we can keep going down filling this little area here with dirt and then we can go to about here this should be fine in fact how many layers have i done one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so if we do a layer of dirt here one here 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 and here okay that works that's uh, nice and nice and symmetrical that's all good in the hood so we can fill these layers with dirt and then we'll obviously have water in between each one so these crops should should be able to go just fine. Oh, don't you dare hit me, sir. Just because you're hiding beneath my trees. Goodness me. Thinking you can just uh, just attack me like that. Oh, wait, this is the wrong row. There we go. Hopefully that should be enough space for all our food. I think that should be fine. We've got plenty of space there. We just need to make ourselves a hoe, which we're going to do with wood because I have no other materials. Wait, do I have any iron? 
Oh, I do. Never mind. Ignore me. We can make an iron hoe. By the way, how does this cost the same amount of iron as this? That just makes no sense. But you know, Mojang, you do you. Anyway, we're going to start with our potatoes. In fact, we can put them in the offhand and just do that. Oh, wait. No, I need to eat. Let me just munch real quick. Now we can just spam. So we'll do a few rows of potatoes. In fact, maybe we'll just do potatoes. Actually, we'll do one row of potatoes here, one here, one here, one here. Then we're going to do a row of wheat seeds. Oh, look at that, an advancement. But we're going to do a row of wheat seeds on this one after then we'll do one more row of wheat seeds i think that should be good and then we can also whack in a row of carrots just at the end because why not you can you can never have too many carrots i think that does go quite well we've got a nice a nice mixture of greens well not really greens some orange beige and more beige but as they're seeds they're all green so that works only question is do we have enough iron to make ourselves one bucket we do oh wait and we have a bucket here do we have any other buckets we don't that's fine though that means we have two buckets oh we can make an infinite water source what am i talking about we literally only need two buckets there we go let's grab that and then i think if we place the water there and here and then grab it from the middle that should be fine yeah there we go look at me just creating water out of thin air i'm actually i'm like i'm like a god oh hey all king zetro oh no wait no is this gonna keep happening oh what am i gonna do about that okay let's just place the water and see if that carries on although i'm not gonna lie i really hope it doesn't yeah this might be a bit of an issue um what i'm thinking is maybe if we build a hut over it that should fix it as long as it's fully enclosed we might be okay or maybe if i build above the water wait let's see if that works i'm literally just going to build a layer over the water and see if it does anything i'm going to assume it's not but you never know minecraft minecraft surprised me before we're gonna we're gonna see if this works this might be the dumbest thing i've ever done but you never know maybe i'm a genius for thinking of this we'll see And now we've got one problem with this. It does work. That's that's the cool thing. It does work. But of course, the crops don't get any sunlight. So I don't think they will actually grow. But I have got a solution. So I thought I recorded it, but I accidentally didn't. I broke a bunch of sand over here. Let me just show you so you don't think I'm lying. I broke all of this sand. And then I made a few more furnaces, as you can see. Like I said, I thought I recorded this bit, but I didn't. And now we've got a bunch of glass to use. So I'm hoping this will be enough. A couple of stacks. To get this thing actually fully working... Here we go. Look at this bad boy getting into getting into action. Oh, wait. I just realized this. This is still here, but don't worry. This does work. It's just because I forgot to break it earlier. But look at this. No ice. Just pure potatoes. It's kind of annoying to get into. And I probably could have done this a lot easier. But once you're in, you know, you can just take your potatoes as you like. Just collect them all up. And then when you're finished, just spam them back just so they actually grow again. Look at that. This is actually cool. I mean, it's kind of a bit of a weird build, you know, having to go through in the water Ever. You're probably like spamming the comments about how I could have done it so much better, but still, it's it's not bad. It works, and that's all that matters. Oh, and look how snowy it is as well on the top. I hope that doesn't affect the plants being able to grow. Well, I say plants, the crops. So these can go in. Oh wait, no, there we go. We'll cook them up with our spruce. And now, do you remember those caves we were in earlier? But I couldn't loot them because I was, uh, you know, armorless. I was probably gonna die. I had no food as well. Well, now we've got all those things. We've got armor. We've got tools. We've got food, kind of. It will be better when we've got stacks of cooked things. But still, I'd say we've got enough food to last us for now. So I want to go back into those caves. Mainly just to get diamonds, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, we've literally got none. We need diamonds, especially if we're going to travel into other dimensions. Actually, I'm going to go collect up these potatoes quick, just so we have definitely got enough food. Yum, 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 yum. Actually, wait, I'm going to collect up carrots as well, because they don't need to be cooked to be an actual good source of food. Unlike, uh, unlike the potatoes over there. Sorry, potatoes, you're just not as good. Skill issue. Wait, I wonder if we can actually make some golden carrots i'd be very surprised if we've got enough gold for that but we'll see we might do okay we have none there we have one block none there and some here so we can make 15 golden carrots to be fair that's more than i thought we'd be able to so i'll take that that is not too bad i feel like we are we are now prepared for an adventure oh actually maybe my pickaxe isn't it's fine one day we'll go on this adventure i'm just gonna grab some stone real quick we'll make a couple of pickaxes i'm also gonna cook up some logs to make charcoal just so i can make some torches so we can see and now finally 
say I think we're good to go. I feel like I've done this about seven times, but we can finally go now. It's time to reclaim these caves now that I can actually survive them and get ourselves some diamonds. We're going to put the torches in the offhand and we're going to get going. And now I've just looked and that cave that we were at earlier was at around 2,500 minus 2,500. So about 100 more blocks this way. And then we're already at minus 2,500. So actually it should be right around here. Wait, wait, is that right? Right below me? I do not believe that for a second. I should just be able to dig down here and then go into the cave. I don't know. Let's just see. There's no way, right? I mean, if it is here, it's going to be quite low down anyway. Yeah, I've just checked and it'll be at level five if we can actually find it. So, I mean, we've got a little bit of digging to do. Let's just, uh, let's just keep going. Oh, there's one pickaxe down. A couple couple more to go. Goodness me, we need iron. Not coal, we need iron. Okay, I don't want to go too far this way. So we're going to turn around and then go this way. So like basically back on ourselves. Oh, oh, wait. Are we... Are we in the cave? We're in a small part of the cave. I'll take the iron. Hmm. Is this the cave? I think it is, but we need to keep going lower down. Oh, here we are. We've we've found it. Oh, wait. I've got water. Perfect. I can just do this. Okay, here we go. Wait, where am I? Okay, I've got my torches in my off hand. I was gonna worry where they are just then. Oh, okay, we get some iron off the bat of the creeper. <gasps> Whew, okay, yeah, <laughs> this is. This is going to be dangerous. That is definitely safe to say. But it is going to be so worth it if we can keep getting ores like this. Only issue is we need a bunch of iron because we can't actually technically get any diamonds at the moment. Actually, with this iron, we're getting a bunch right here. I could probably make myself a new iron pickaxe. Do I have any? Okay, I do have wood. So let's just do that. Put that there. Going to make a furnace. Oh, I've got that coal as well from when I was mining down. Look at this. It's all falling into place. This is going swimmingly. All right, we've got three. To be fair, we'll probably just make one pickaxe. So we'll make some sticks. We'll make a pick. Uh, oh, axe. There we go. Collect these up. There we go. We are making moves. We're getting there. Oh, we're going into a bit of a weird part of the cave. Of course, I'm going to have to kill this guy. I'm sorry, buddy. I hate spiders in real life. So actually, I'm not that sorry. But can we get any more ores is the question. To be fair, iron would be I iron and diamonds is all we really need. If we ever need coal, we can just get a bunch of that from the nether, I suppose. So yeah, iron. Oh, speak, speak, speak of the devil. Iron and diamonds would be amazing right now. Oh, is that a slime? Oh, hello, buddy. Should we just, um, should we just help you out? There you go. Get in there. Get in there. I'm sorry. You've just, uh, you've just witnessed a massacre. Oh, and you're about to witness another if I get too close to that creeper. Yeah, this is not a nice place. Please stop following me. I'd really appreciate it. Ah, you left me no choice. Trick shot. Oh man. Right, let's keep it moving. Let's go. What can we get? We get some iron. We get nothing. We get a creeper explosion. That's what we get. And another one. Oh, we get some more iron. We get a zombie apocalypse. More iron. A dead squid, apparently. Iron. Iron. Gold. Iron. Gold. Arrow to the face. No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please do not kill me. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't do that. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away from me, buddy. Goodness me, we've got some angry mobs in this place. What is wrong with you? Skele oh, skeletons are actually the worst. Just, you know what? Get away. You don't you don't even get to shoot me again. That's that's you gone. That's it. I'm sorry. Skeletons are just so annoying because you just can't get away from them unless you run really far away. But anyway, back to back to mining. I really want to try and find some diamonds. Maybe if we go lower down. Oh, we are going very low here. Goodness me. Come on, they've got to be down here somewhere. Chilling with the mobs. Wait, I feel like I've been in this part of the cave before is this where i started digging out and then i found the other part of the cave i think it might be unless i've gone the wrong way wait i'm so confused literally where am i right now i was in this massive cave and now i'm just i'm in the back rooms what's what's going on i don't know should we just keep running around maybe it was the other way we'll try go over this way i don't think i've been this way yet or maybe i have i've got no clue at this point oh we are going very low down um wait is this where i saw that skeleton earlier i'm not sure oh please tell me there's actually something down down here and not just nothing oh yeah i did go this way okay we have to go across this way oh and then is this where the big part of the cave was i can't remember oh we do get a little bit of lapis though eventually we are going to need that i must admit not right now you know but we will at some point oh i think was this where that zombie apocalypse was happening i think it might have been and then i started to dig out and then we found another giant cave so maybe we'll just go that way again and we have a zombie apocalypse part two fantastic okay yeah it's up here because I blocked it off of cobblestone. Oh, aren't I a genius? Making sure the mobs can't get me. Oh, and there's more. Yeah, let's let's just block that off again. And we should right now find ourselves 
in a new cave. Yep, here we go. Well, I say new cave. It might literally just be the same one. But either way, there's a lot here. Look at this. I'm, I'm getting de I'm getting deja vu. But we're back into this big old cave. So we can we can go and explore. Yeah. Oh, and we get some iron. I'm assuming if we just go lower down, we're more likely to find diamonds. That's that's how it works, right? It should be, I'm guessing. You would think I know these kind of things by now, but uh, still no. You know, all of you watching this video are probably 10 times better at Minecraft than me. But you know what? That's not what it's about. It's about... Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm stumped on that one, but... Either way, I hope you're enjoying the video. I have to praise you like I should. I need to stop singing. I'm gonna get copyrighted because I'm so I'm so amazing at singing. I'm so similar to the the original. Oh, diamonds! Hello. Well, I say diamonds, one diamond, but we'll still take it. And a boatload of gold. I mean, realistically, what are we gonna use gold for? I suppose golden apples, to be fair. Although we could just get golden apples from the snow igloos if we really wanted them. But, I mean, at the end of the day, there are skeletons shooting me, and you can never have too much gold. You'll always you'll always need it, you know. Well. Actually, I think on my normal hardcore world, I've actually got too much gold, but let's not talk about that. We've got too many carrots as well. No, don't kill me. 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 Don't kill me, please. Oh my goodness. I'm literally living off these golden carrots right now. If I did not have these, I, I, I'd probably be dead. But luckily, I've got them, so we don't have to worry about that. We just need to worry about getting diamonds. Oh, hello. Okay, wait. Let's block that off. Let's place that, and then there we go diamond collected. Ooh, we've got an amethyst geode. These are pretty cool, aren't they? I've got no real use for it, but it's cool to sit in, I suppose. Oh yeah, my uh, my leggings broke off camera, by the way. Sad times. Means I'm a little less protected from the googlies in the area. Ooh, we've got another part of the cave. This, this looks like diamond territory. Oh, and iron territory, apparently. I know there's about to be a big old vein of diamonds right here, or another amethyst geode what is it with these things <gasps> wait i was actually correct okay i was totally bluffing that but let's go i i will take that <gasps> multiple okay i am not going to complain about that whatsoever we will take that if we could just get rid of this lava that would be great is there gonna be another there is not maybe maybe not no, but still, I am happy with that. How many diamonds? There are six diamonds so far. I mean, it definitely could be better, but it could be worse. We're getting we're getting enough for like, you know, a pickaxe, an enchanting table, and I'm sure we'll be able to get more at some point. But six is not too bad for now. What am I doing in a random amethyst geo that level minus 63 on a Saturday afternoon right now? I don't know. But I mean, the purple matches my skin, so I guess that's kind of cool and not relevant whatsoever. But hey, every day's a school day. <laughs> Ah, you missed. How about that? Oh, and you didn't miss that time. Yeah, we get it. You've got aimbot. I am climbing the wall. I'm like Spider-Man right now, but with water. Call me H2O man. Yeah, look at me. I'm up. Oh, and I can spot lava. I'm going to go over there quickly and just see if that has any goodies for us. Wait, was the lava here? Okay, it must have been down this way over here, I think. Lava, where are you? I found you. I have. Um, Give me some diamonds, please. Please, please. Oh, there's more lava. Yeah, I don't think we're getting any diamonds here. But I am going to go ahead and just mine every single ore that is down here. Well, maybe not every ore, but a bunch of ores just so we can get out of this place. And then all we'll need is some diamonds. Oh my goodness, this cave is massive. All right, I'm going to go get some ores. Now, we've got six diamonds, which means we can make ourselves a diamond pickaxe, which is lovely, which means we've also got enough diamonds. So when we get some obsidian and a book, I think that's all you need. We'll be able to make an enchanting table. Where is the obsidian, you may ask? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure we... Oh, we have one. That's that's a start, I suppose. But yeah, we've, we've got an obsidian. We need an enchanting table. So that's a bit of an issue. How many do you need? Is it like four? I think it might be four. Oh, yeah, because you place four and then obviously you put a diamond each side, book at the top, yeah. 
yeah, I know. I remember now. Question is, oh, wait, is this? Oh, no, no, don't stop following me. Get away, get away, get away. He's following me. He's following me. Can you just uh, stay away, please? Oh, is there going to be obsidian here or is it just, oh, I think it's just cobblestone. How do you, how do you make obsidian spawn? I think we would need more lava. Wait, would we? What if I grab this lava? I'm going to make ourselves like a nice little flat area. And then if I place the lava here, grab this water and then place it on top. Will that work? Oh, no, it only... Okay, it creates one from the lava source. So we definitely do need more lava. Okay, that makes sense. I will grab this, but I can't imagine there's going to be much more lava in this cave because I don't think this one is actually the big one, which is... Uh, it's a bit of an issue, of course, but it's no, it's no issue we can't overcome, you know? We will be just fine. Oh, wait, I see light. Is there more lava? Oh, no, it's just these little, these little trolls. <gasps> oh, here's the lava. I think we've been to this place about 20 times in this video, but I don't care because this is exactly what we needed. Uh, amazing. So let's just grab one more piece of obsidian. Oh, well, that didn't really go to plan, did it now? There we go. That's better. There's one. There is two. So we have four. That should be fine. Oh, wait. Actually, to be fair, while we're here, I'm just going to go grab a bunch more. Just for if we ever need it. And also a nether portal. We'll need it for that as well. So we may as well grab them while we're here. There we go. That's all good in the hood. That should be enough. I mean, we've got 19, which means we've got 15 after we build the enchanting table. And we need about 10 to 14. Depends on how we build the nether portal. So that should be all good. I can't imagine we'll need obsidian for anything else. I mean, unless they randomly just bring out obsidian armor while I'm playing this 100 days. That would be pretty cool but something tells me that's probably not gonna happen so let's just head back up and kill this guy because he's absolutely gonna try and kill me if i don't where's my home i'm going to try and find it now now bear with me while i quickly go and grab a bunch of food because i feel like we are very quickly starting to run out of course with going on all these adventures it's gonna happen but if we could just stock up on some potatoes actually let me place these again just to be safe oh we've got a random carrot there yep you know why not that can stay do i already have some fuel in the furnace i hope i do okay yeah i do that's good so now we can whack that in there. And do I have enough materials to make a book? Oh, wait, no, I've got loads of books from that village earlier. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so let me guess. That there, that there, that there, and that there. I'm a genius. Maybe we should put this in our new house. Well, kind of new house. It's been here for a while now. Okay, I'm just going to whack it there for now. We will move it, but how many bookshelves do we need? I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 17, 18, 19, 20. I think that's right, which means, first of all, we need a bunch more sugar cane actually do we or do we have enough to be fair that might actually be enough paper actually no i don't think it will and of course we definitely do not have enough leather which means we need to go on an excavation for leather and paper now here's the thing obviously yeah we could go ahead and build ourselves a sugar cane farm you know that might be the useful thing to do we might need sugar cane in the future well, why not go ahead and do that um because i don't wait why does that look so short just then i don't know but anyway i'm getting distracted i don't have that much time we're already like halfway into the the 100 days, which is kind of crazy. We don't need to be sat here building sugarcane farms. We just need a bunch of sugarcane that we're going to steal, as you can see. And then we should be good for an enchanting table, but also fireworks if we manage to get an elytra. Are we going to get an elytra? I don't know. We might even die to the ender dragon, but I suppose that's the, the risk we've got to take. You know, we will find out. So we are going to take that. I feel like sugarcane is actually kind of hard to find. Obviously, it wouldn't be if all this was water. But I think when it turns into ice, like it obviously all has, a lot of the sugar cane just gets destroyed, which is uh, not very good for us. But look at that. We're managing to find some. We should be fine as we skate across this slippery ice. There's some more. Do you see what I mean about it breaking? This one was already broken. Oh, and we stumble across a village that, to be fair, I've probably already been to before. Yep, I've definitely been to this one, but I didn't get the sugar cane. So that's a bonus, I suppose. Don't mind me, killer buddies. I'm just going to stroll along and steal. Oh my goodness, what has happened here? You see what I mean? That is crazy. To be fair, we've already got half a stack of sugar cane do we really need that much more the smart thing would be to uh, maybe do a little calculation i don't think it'll be very hard but once again we're not going to do the smart thing we're just going to see how much sugar cane we can find and hope that i don't die in the process
Oh, hello, Mr. Killer Bunny. Do you actually attack? They're, they're called... I, I keep calling them Killer Bunnies, but I don't know if they actually attack. What if I hit them? Are you gonna... Nope, they just run off. Or maybe they're not Killer Bunnies. I don't know what I'm talking about. Also, I just realized while I was mining all this sugarcane and listening to Christmas songs, I've actually got a Christmassy skin on that I've had for about three years now. I keep forgetting that I wear a Christmas skin literally 24-7 with the Christmas lights and the Santa hat. I've been in the Christmassy spirit for about three years straight now. But anyway, with my carrot in my hand, I'm realizing we have a bit of a problem. Problem, and it's not this sugar cane. We're getting plenty of that, even though it is really annoying to try and go and find because it's so far away from each other. That's not our problem. Our problem is this thing right here. We need to get leather, but of course, there are literally like no cows anywhere. Is there another way to get leather? I don't think there is. So I think what we're going to have to do is go ahead and find ourselves a village and either kill the cows or maybe just breed them. It depends how many there are, but first of all, we need to find an actual village around here somewhere. Hello, Mr. Polar Bear. Oh, no, don't attack me. Oh, wait, no. Are you a nice polar bear? Oh, you are. Hello there, buddy. Oh, look, there's literally a cross in the snow. Look at that. I have spotted a village. Is it going to have cows? Probably not know my luck, but I suppose we're about to find out. Ah, the troubles of a snow-only world, eh? I'm sure we'll be able to get a full level enchanted table. It might just take a little bit longer compared to if I was in my normal hardcore world. It's fine though. It's what this challenge is all about. The challenges of Christmas. Parents have the challenge of trying to find their kids specific presents for Christmas and I have the challenge of trying to find cows. Please have some in this village. Um, these are not cows. Or maybe they are cows. They're just disguised. Dun dun dun. No, I don't. I don't think they... <gasps> Wait, you are? You're a cow? Wait, that sounds really mean, but it is literally a cow. I might as well say that to someone. You're a cow? No, but wait, there's only one. Oh, what do I do? Okay, you are you are a rare species in this world, my friend. Is there any more somewhere, maybe? I don't think there are any more. Okay, I'm just going to kill this one. I need to either find two, because if I can't find two, there's really no point in just leaving the one, because it obviously won't be able to breed. So we are up to two leather. We just need probably a good few more. I think I am literally just going to have to spend days now running and running and running running. Actually, no, I know what will make it a little bit faster. Instead of just running and boating. Obviously, it is still going to take a long time. But I think this is the only way I'm going to be able to get a bunch of leather, really. Just exploring all the villages and stealing their cows. But hopefully, obviously, you only need... Oh. I just crashed. <laughs> I'm going too fast for my own liking. But yeah, you only need one leather per book. So we shouldn't actually need too much compared to the amount of paper we needed. Oh my goodness. This is so speedy. Look at me. I'm going to crash. Oh, no way. I'm drifting. I'm drifting. Oh, okay. Yep, we crashed. But we've crashed at a village. So that's okay. But yeah, I'm going to go around now just exploring villages, trying to find some cows. It's going to take a while, but we can't really just complete this uh, this 100 days without enchantments. We have, to, we have to commit to the cause, even though it will be very boring and take a very, very long time. Anyway, let's go get ourselves some cows. Okay, I think we've probably got enough leather now. We've got like 17. I thought we had 14. We've got 17. We've got all those books still. But look what I've... <gasps> Wait, there are alleys. Oh my. Wait, I only just realized I did not expect that because obviously the other one didn't have any. I wonder why the other one didn't have any. But oh, oh my. I'm... I'm, I'm gobsmacked. Wait, that's so cool. I'm going to let them free. I'm not going to lie. I've got no idea what to do with them. So I'm just going to leave them to just, you know, roam around, do whatever they want. But that's so cool. Wait, do they make noise? I think they do. I heard it a second ago. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just going to go and steal some of this stuff if there is anything. Try not to, uh, try not to get shot down. And I also don't want to kill the bad omen one because, I mean, I still probably couldn't. <gasps> we got a horn. I still probably can't defeat a raid on my own. But I will gladly take all of this loot. Wait. Are you ready? Listen. Oh, that will absolutely never get old. I actually, I actually love this game so much. One more time for the boys. Oh, no, not yet. Wait, let's get away from them first. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Sounds like the end of that, like, uh, if you win on, like, Happy Wheels or something. Dun, 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 dun. 
Anyway, though, we've got the stuff we need to. I think I'm going to try and head home, wherever home might be. And I'll let you know when I'm finally back, because I've got a feeling it's going to take me a while. I've been traveling thousands of blocks. We'll get there eventually. All right, we're home. We're going to make ourselves a chest, because I have no chest room, and we've got a bunch of just random stuff that I've collected on this journey. So that can all go in there. Actually, no, we're going to keep the horn with us. That's, that's important. And then, obviously, we need the paper, the leather, the books, and the sugar cane, probably. So let's just make a bunch of paper we can make 17 books i think and then if we've got some wood so oh yeah we have a bunch of woods here that's fine we should be able to make enough bookshelves 16 wait i think 16 is the exact amount i actually needed because i recounted and you don't need 20 because you don't have to do these corners i don't think here so if we just replace all of these oh wait no i just realized i should probably figure out where i want this to go first now nah, let's just place it here we've got other stuff to be worrying about we don't have time for this oh no, no, wait, I've just placed two wrong. Wait, is it still going to be level 30? Please. No, level 28. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, what am I going to do? Um. Okay, wait, maybe if I destroy these, they're just going to give me the same amount of books I need. Okay, we got four back. Wait, we got four? Or maybe we got three. Okay, we have seven. That should be fine, right? Of course, it just means we're going to have to remake them into bookshelves. But that should actually be all right. Luckily, we've got plenty of wood. That worried me for a second. But I think if we place them like that, that should surely... Yes, there we go. Fantastic. I wonder if we could get like fortune straight away because I need some more diamonds and fortune would be amazing. Is it going to happen? Probably not. That would be extremely lucky, but I suppose there's only one way to find out. No, nope. that's the thing. We really need fortune so we can actually go mining because I need diamond armor, which means obviously we need diamonds and fortune will make that so much easier. How can I get myself a bunch of levels? Okay, I'm actually so dumb. I just built this nether portal, but I forgot to unpause my recording. I've done that like twice now. Oh, look at that. It matches my skin. But anyway, what I was trying to say is we're going to build this nether portal, which we've obviously already done. And then we're going to grab a bunch of quartz or gold or whatever, just something to give us some XP. Then we can go back re-enchant our pickaxe with this new xp and we can keep doing that over and over hopefully not too many times and then we can keep doing that over and over hopefully not too many times until we actually do get fortune but yeah like i said hopefully hopefully we get it in the first few attempts that would be lovely fortune i need you so i pray for you i honestly don't know what i do without this xp method because i mean there probably are better ones but this one's just like so easy in fact wait just gonna grab those rewards so i can actually get myself back home when i need to oh we're almost level 20 eight there we go just a couple more levels to go oh oh wait i could have traded with these guys to get some uh to get the leather if i wanted but oh well we've got it now it's fine we don't need to we don't need to dwell on the past as long as we can get some fortune we can get our diamonds we can kill the ender dragon we can do all of that but it all starts with these quartz right here so let's go ahead and get to level 30 hopefully fairly quickly <laughs> Ow. Buddy, are you trying to ruin my Minecraft experience? What's going on with you? Yeah, have that. Goodness me, the manners on that guy, am I right? Terrible. Oh, well. He's gone now. We uh, we don't have to worry about him anymore. He will be no trouble to us. Oh, we're getting into the gold territory, which probably means we are going to get level 30 maybe. What? I literally could not be any closer to level 30 if I tried right now. Okay, we have some more gold and there we go. Level 30 acquired and I didn't even have to, didn't even have to really risk my life for it. Too much. Oh, oh, that was risky. Oh look, there was gold here. I didn't even realize it was probably being protected by the, uh, by the piglins. Anyway, let's get ourselves back home. Wait, how do you make a grindstone? I actually am not sure. Okay, we need two planks, which is fine. We need sticks, which is fine. Do I have the right slabs? I actually might. Oh, I do. Perfect. So this can go ahead and sit right here. We can whack the pickaxe. Does it matter where you put it? I don't know, but we'll do that. Oh, wait, the lapis. Silly me. Three, two, one. Fortune. Oh, okay. We have a dilemma. Do we keep Fortune 2 or do we risk it to try and get Fortune 3? I'm not going to lie. The difference between Fortune 2 and Fortune 3 could be massive. We're going to we're gonna risk it. So now I'm going to have to go and do the same thing multiple times. Wish, wish me luck. Oh, 
there we go. Okay, Fortune 3. That didn't actually take too long, to be fair. So that's good. I think that probably took me about, what, three or four times? I mean, you probably know. I'll take that. That was actually all right. We now have Fortune 3. And actually, I'm breaking an efficiency. This is probably the best pickaxe in Minecraft, if it was netherite. So, I mean, now what? Well, first of all, I'm going to kill these spiders just because I uh, hate spiders and they're annoying me. As I said earlier, I do not like spiders. We're going to kill this creeper before he kills me. Good. Bye. We're then going to go ahead and chuck that mob loot in the chest because I don't want it. Oh, that one's full. There we go. I also am now realizing I'm running weary of golden carrots. Hopefully, the carrots over here have actually grown so I can grab some more. Here we go. This is what Christmas is all about. The Christmassy, uh, the Christmassy vegetables. To be fair, with making them gold, that makes them even more Christmassy, right? It's like a Christmas ornament. Hey, you can't escape me. Get back here. My only question is, how many golden carrots can we make? To be fair, we just got a bunch of golden nuggets from getting that XP, so we actually should be able to make quite a few we can do oh wow actually quite a lot wait we can do loads we've got more gold than we've actually got carrots there we go 40 golden carrots that's not too bad oh maybe that's why i look shorter because like my boots go into the snow i've just realized wow that's uh, that's interesting that's why i look so short but anyway though i think it is time for us to do a little bit of strip mining to be fair we may as well just use this little uh this little mine we started making earlier and we're gonna dig straight down to be honest i'm probably gonna have to make a new pickaxe soon just so I don't absolutely destroy this fortune one because obviously it doesn't have mending. It does have unbreaking three though, so that should help us. But we're going to make our way down, all the way down to, of course, oh, wait, what am I? There we go. Down to level minus 54, I believe. Actually, I think I got some comments telling me about different mining levels, but that was for like iron and stuff. I think diamond specifically is level minus 54. So we're going to make our way down now and we're going to try not to die when we're down there because, I mean, I think at those levels, you know, you start to get, oh, a cave. All right, we're going to ignore this and we're just going to carry on. But yeah, I think at like level minus 54, etc., you sort of get a lot of lava, which is fine. You know, lava can, uh, of course, mean diamonds. But I mean, we just don't want to die from it, you know? Now we're past the cave. It kind of looks like I'm in like a mob uh, a mob spawner right now. But of course, I'm not. I'm not that lucky to have one right below my house. Oh, iron. Don't mind if I do. I'm pretty sure we've got a decent amount of iron. But every little helps, you know? We will take it. You never have too much. But anyway, now I'm going to dig my way. Oh, redstone as well. Goodness me. And we've got fortune. So that's... That's even better. I wonder if fortune works with XP. Oh no, get out of here. Oh, if I just got trapped by zombies, that would not. Oh, he's got a sword. Please don't kill me. All right, we need to. We need to keep going and get away from that cave. Let's get down to minus minus 54. After I have killed that zombie, there we go. Off we go to minus 54, aka deep slate. Oh, you see, this is the lava that I was talking about. Oh, no, no, no. E, 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 eat the golden, uh, no, not golden apples, golden carrots. Yep, yeah, quick, regen me, regen me, regen me. Okay, I think we are maybe fine. Oh, I don't have any water. Half a heart. Oh, I went silent because I thought I was going to have to restart this whole challenge. How many times have I actually almost died in this video? It's got to be it's got to be quite a few. Goodness me, this game actually gives me heart attacks. Well, almost 51, 52, 53 and 54. Well, minus 54. Oh, and we're in a cave straight away. How convenient. Although I don't think we should go into this cave saying that as I'm literally going into it, but I I feel like, you know, we need to just stick to the strip mine the good old faithful strip mine and go with that and just pray that it actually pays off and doesn't kill me so now we must dig until we cannot dig anymore are we gonna get something other than just lava i've got no clue to be honest but fingers crossed let's just get past this with a little good old cobblestone bridge you can never go wrong why is that oh my i i thought that cobblestone was like really dark i was so confused just then but never mind right like i said actually should we switch up the pickaxe we're gonna switch up the pickaxe which is gonna be really boring to mine because of how slow it is but hopefully it leads us to some diamonds so let's see Well, that pickaxe didn't last very long, did it? Guess we're switching back to this one. We're definitely going to go a lot faster now, but I think we're probably going to have to go and make some more iron ones because something tells me this isn't going to last very long. With how fast it's mining and how far we're probably going to have to go to get enough diamonds, I'm not very uh, confident in this pickaxe's ability to get all the diamonds we need, but we'll see, I suppose. Oh, look at that. We have got one, 
two. Oh, I can't even pick them up. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. We have to celebrate to our first diamonds of this mining session. Here we go. How many are we going to get? Okay, that was like a vein of like five, I think. And we've got 12 diamonds. That's pretty good. It's not quite enough for full diamond armor, but we're getting there. That is definitely a good start. To be fair, if we get one more vein and it's big enough, that could literally be enough diamonds. I mean, that's definitely wishful thinking. That might not happen. But I suppose we'll just keep mining and find out. Obviously, don't worry. I'm not going to make you just sit and watch me mine for hours because that's probably how long it's going to take. It's probably loads of Minecraft days being down here. But nonetheless, I have been down here for quite a while and will probably be down here for another quite a while. But it's got to be done. You know, we need the diamond armor. We're not gonna we're not gonna stick with the good old peasant armor. Iron. Ugh, disgusting. We're gonna get ourselves some diamonds. Oh, wait, this didn't take long whatsoever. I think the diamonds were like just like over there somewhere. I, I can't remember. And then right over here, we've struck more diamonds. I mean, I'm hoping it's a bigger vein than last time. Okay, we've got two. Maybe. Oh, uh, wait, is that literally it? I mean, that's not terrible. I'll take any diamonds, but we could have done with a couple more. 18, though, that is not too bad. I'm sure if we find one more vein now we should you know have enough for full diamond armor i suppose we'll see come on we just need that last diamond vein to save us Oh, vein number three. Is this going to be the one to get us to riches, to get us to full diamond armor? Wait, actually, it might. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that has to be it. We now have a total of 31 diamonds. I think that's actually going to be enough. We've got to go. We've got to go craft some stuff. I don't know why I'm blocking this off. I'm probably never going to come back here ever again. But anyway, oh, look, and we're level 30 as well. Right, back to the surface we go. We've got a job to do. There we go. I've used all our diamonds. Well, not all our diamonds, but some of our diamonds to make full diamond armor look at that i'd say this series is going pretty well we are rich well i mean not as rich as i am in my other words but i think we're doing a good job nonetheless how do you think this hundred days is going are you enjoying it i think we're doing decent especially for a snow only world the fact that we've got an enchanting table in a snow only world where you can find barely any cows i, th I think we're doing good i'd say we're doing okay but now we're also gonna make ourselves wait do i have any sticks surely i've got some sticks somewhere okay we'll just we'll just make oh wait no i've got some right there right i'm actually lines let's make a sword we don't need another pickaxe but we will make an axe and a shovel and i'm now realizing we also need to make another chest because i've got none left that are actually empty fantastic all the old stuff can go in there look at us we are looking snazzy question is what's next in fact i know exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna try and get all of this armor to level 30 we don't need crazy enchantments but just something to keep us protected and i'm now realizing i completely forgot to bring a lapis there it is the good old trust blue stuff can we get a good enchantment at the start oh okay that's actually quite good i will take that now we just need to get enough to enchant the other things so bear with me while i go to the good old faithful mining quartz and gold in the nether honestly if this method didn't exist i don't know what i'd do Oh, blast protection. That's not great, but we're just going to go with it. And the leggings, do we get anything decent? We get unbreaking. Okay, not great, but oh well. And on the boots, we get... Uh, uh, it's not terrible. It's not great either. Could have done with some normal protection, but oh well. Any enchantments are better than no enchantments. Now, I feel like we're kind of prepared for an M fight and getting an elytra and all that kind of stuff, but there's one more fun kind of thing I want to do quickly first. So, I mean, I know this is a snow-only world, but I'm feeling kind of festive, and we've not really got anything festive going on here other than all the snow, of course. So, I think it's... Uh I think it's time for a build. Nothing too crazy, but I mean, well, you'll, you'll see. I hope this doesn't take me too long. Now, I mean, it's not bad. It's not, it's not amazing either, but it's not terrible, right? I mean, yes, I had to use netherrack because I don't have enough coal to actually make coal blocks. And the nose is a little bit weird because we had to do two blocks wide instead of one. And the eyes are also netherrack. But I mean, it looks okay 
right? Listen, I, I did my best. But with Mr. Snowman now guarding our house, we can go on an adventure. The house is covered. He's going to protect it for us. We've got something important to do. As you can probably imagine, the Ender Dragon. But I'm a little bit underprepared for this actual Ender Dragon fight. You know, I don't really have everything I need. So... Okay, I believe we are all geared up to go to the end fight. Other than one more thing, I just want to enchant my sword. I don't care what we get. I'm just going to enchant it just to see. Okay, yeah, that is terrible. But oh well, we, we shouldn't even need the sword. We've got an infinity bow, like an infinity gauntlet. But anyway, what way do we need to go is the question. We need to go this way. Okay, diagonal. And the first bow broke. Okay, that's not a great start. I wonder how far we're actually going to have to go. I've got no idea of the spawn rates of strongholds in these snowy kind of biomes, if that's even a thing. I don't know how it works, to be honest. But wait, let's just throw them on again. Uh, okay, yeah, it definitely is still this way, I thought. So I feel like this is going to be... Gonna be quite a long time, but I suppose we're gonna find out. Okay, it seems like the portal is here because that dirt marker there and that one up there is where it kept moving. Or like kept switching directions. So it seems to be around here. So we're gonna dig our way all the way down. Just gonna do myself a little staircase. I was gonna dig straight down, but I don't think that's a good idea. Especially this late into the 100 days. We don't have to restart. Why am I actually kind of nervous for the end fight? I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. But I feel like we've just come so far in this 100 days. I'm, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess it up, you know? I'm sure we'll be fine. We just need to actually get to the stronghold first eventually oh we get a little bit of iron on the way down don't mind if i do and bird poo nice we're still digging how long is this going to take i'm starting to worry that i've gone the wrong direction i mean we're up deep slate does it really go down this low oh we're in a cave hello um i think i might have done something wrong um okay wait i'm just gonna head back to the top quickly okay we're back at the top and see look the, the pearl literally lands right here so i'm gonna mark that there i'm now gonna throw it over here and wait where's the pearl gone i think it went backwards i don't know but this just proves that this is where it is in fact you know what this is where it is i'm just gonna dig straight down just to make it easier no going around and we're just gonna pray that i don't fall in lava and worst case i'm gonna put my water bucket right here let's just dig straight down and see what happens i got my water bucket out the ready just in case we go through the bird's poo we're going down to deep slate and where is the stronghold i've got no idea oh and we're in now the only annoying part is going to be actually trying to find the portal i think we get the library to be fair that could be useful you never know we'll grab those cords. maybe it's round here oh down these stairs possibly i feel like whenever i have to go and actually find one it's always like lower down oh we get another library come on portal where are you over this way i hope oh this is cool we get a little double chest probably yep nothing i really need but i mean that's cool i saw <gasps> oh the portal okay we get the portal let's quickly destroy that take out all these things before they start multiplying like crazy like they're currently doing right now oh these guys are so annoying get out of here go away get out of here let's cover up the lava just to be safe don't want to be burning in that i don't know how that happened but you never know and now for the satisfying part and boom there we go ladies and gentlemen it is time wait now it's time. Right, I'm not sure what way we need to go, but we're just going to dig up this way quickly. Please just lead me straight onto the island. I actually think it might, which would be amazing, rather than having to bridge across to the main island. Oh, here we go. Yep, we're on. Now it is time for some target practice. Let the battle commence. First of all, let's take out these things. There's three in a row. Can I get a fourth in a row? No, so close. There we go. Oh, and it damaged him. That's cool. I think I have an idea to try and get the taller ones. What we're going to do is just build up like this. And we're going to place water below just to make sure I don't, you know, die to full damage. So that can go there. Let's take out this one. Oh, close. Now, maybe that one's too far. Let's go for this one. Almost there. There we go. Maybe this one or is this way too far? No, we got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go for me, please, sir. Oh, can we get that one? Yep, yeah, we do. Now let's just get these two cage ones. There's one. 
There's two. Oh my goodness. It's a good thing I got infinity. I think I just missed about seven times. Now, can we go for this one? No, I think we're too far away again. Did that get it? Yes, I think that got it. Wait, is that all of them now? It actually might be. Haha, -ha, you are powerless. Now bear with me while I absolutely spray this thing with arrows. You don't even know what you got coming to you, do you? Haha, -ha, take aim. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Oh, it really would have been cool if that arrow hit. What was that shot? Goodness me. I am terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, the final arrow. Wait, how? there's no way I just missed that. Okay, there we go. I don't know how I just missed that shot, but we've done it. So I'm, I'm happy. What is this going to get me to like level like 70 or something? Surely it's going to get me uh, quite, a, quite a bit of XP here. Level 56, 64. Stack of levels, pretty cool. Okay, almost level 70. Level 69. Wait, I'm going to grab this torch. No. Can I have this one? There we go. Now we're going to hit that. Where is it going to land? Oh, wait. No. Okay, that doesn't work because I can't break below it. Can we hit it again? Um... Okay, here we are. This this works. So we're going to get the good old egg. So put a torch there, break that, and that should work. Yeah, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have technically completed Minecraft. But of course, we've still got more stuff to do. So let's go home. Oh, and we're in the middle of nowhere because apparently I destroyed my bed or something. I don't know. Looks like I'm going to have to go and find my home again. I mean, I've got the quads. It's just going to take me a while. I'll see you when I'm at my house. Okay, we have managed to make it back. I've just been shot by a slowness arrow, but that's gone. Now, there we go. We are home. We are back to our house, our nether portal, our messy chest, and this guy right here. Did we give him a name? I don't think so. This is, um, what should we call him? Spencer. This is Spencer the the snowman. Everyone say hello to Spencer in the comments. Or should we call him Spencer? Not Spencer, Spencer. There we go. Good old Spencer. Anyway, we're going to chuck all of this stuff in here. Oh my goodness, I have so much in my inventory right now that I just don't need. Well, I don't need right now. I'll need them eventually. So there we go. That's that done. In fact, speaking of all these messy chests, I think we should probably start moving into our house. I mean, I still need to decorate the outside. We need windows and everything like that. But I think we should switch this thing up. Actually, I have an idea. Well, I say I have an idea. My friend Prod actually gave me an idea. Some of you may know who he is. He was in the Minecraft multiplayer survival. And obviously, I I was gonna do a balcony like right here but he basically gave me the idea to destroy all of this have staircases going up this way and this way and then we can have a christmas tree right in the middle which obviously makes sense i think that would work really well so that means we need to grab our axe and go ahead and destroy all this i'm probably gonna move in upstairs like i said move the chest probably move this enchanting table and then yeah we'll be able to make this place look all nice so let me just go ahead and do this quickly this is gonna take a very long time because i have an unenchanted diamond axe Thanks. Okay, I'm actually loving how this thing's looking. Of course, we still need to do decoration. You saw me do the inside. I don't know if you saw, but I was changing around my chests. So they were all out there, but you might have been able to see through the window that I was putting them all here. Just nice and out of the way. But there's one thing I've noticed outside, which is kind of annoying. We have a lot of gaps where there's no snow, as you can see over there, here. Just a bunch of areas with no snow. Of course, going around the house, over here. And then there's also these big patches where I had to grab snow earlier you might have seen that and it's just not good because this is meant to be of course a snow only world it's not a snow and grassy world but i have had a genius idea that we might not be able to do yet i'm not sure i need to check what materials we have but basically i think to fix this issue and also just make this place look cooler we make an army of snow golems so we've got probably quite a decent amount of snow of course they only take two snow per one we've got a lot of snowballs in fact let me go ahead and make all these into blocks quickly but we should have plenty of snow it's the pumpkins that i'm more worried about okay so almost three stacks yeah that's plenty question is do we have enough pumpkins we've got three there that's probably it yeah that's definitely it because i kind of actually organized these chests so we're definitely gonna need to go grab some more maybe even like a snack maybe more so let's just go to well i was gonna say go to villages but they're not even specifically at villages are they oh i can see some over there i mean we're running past the farm obviously we could farm some but i feel like in this kind of world going and collecting pumpkins is just gonna be so much quicker seeing as there are just so many which i mean it does make sense this is of course a snow only world but yeah i think to make an army of iron golems this is definitely the way. Wait, did I say iron golems? I mean snow golems. Getting the two confused. What am I doing? Where's the next little pumpkin patch gonna be? I've got no idea. Anywhere around here. I can't see any. I suppose we're just gonna have to keep running around and see. Pumpkins, where are you? Pumpkins, I need you. Pumpkins... 
Um, please show yourselves because I need you to make a little snow golem army in my 100 days snow only world. I mean, if that little tune right there isn't going to get him to spawn, I don't, I don't know what is. Why am I saying spawn like pumpkins or like a mob or something? Oh, we get a nice little pumpkin patch of two. Great. I mean, we'll take it. It's not exactly, you know, a massive help, but every, every little helps. Oh, and this is definitely going to help. Hello. We will be taking all of these bad boys. I'm so glad I actually have a decent axe. I mean, it's not enchanted, but imagine if this thing was wooden. That would not be fun. Anyway, let's go get ourselves some more pumpkins. Where, where are you at? They are fairly easy to spot because, of course, they're orange. So I don't think we would have ran past any and missed them unless unless I'm going to get a bunch of comments like, oh, you miss pumpkins, you miss pumpkins. Which, I mean, I literally got some on my 50,000 ores video, which I think was my last video. A bunch of people commented how I missed diamonds. I think it was that video. Maybe it was the deserted island one. Oh, I... I literally thought that might have been a pumpkin. It's lava. Same color, I suppose. But yeah, we, we'll try not to miss any this time. You never know. I might have already. Hopefully not, though. Oh, is that some over there? No, I think it's lava. This pesky lava just trolling me right now. Oh, I can see some there, though. I will be taking these. And these are low. Wait, there's loads here. This area is absolutely stacked. I will take that. We've got 57, to be fair. If, oh, okay. We, oh, no, we don't need to stay away from you. You're not going to try and hurt me. But yeah, I was just going to say, if we can get like maybe one more decent sized pumpkin patch, we should be good to go. Anywhere around here would be great. Wow, that is a tall mountain. That doesn't even look real. I mean, obviously it's not real. It's in Minecraft, but you know what I mean. Oh, here we go. We've got another big, uh, a big pumpkin vein, if that's what you can even call it. Just a few more and we should be good to go. I would say that is definitely going to be enough. Almost two stacks of pumpkins. To be fair, now we've probably got more pumpkins than we actually have snow. Because obviously you need double the pumpkins for the amount of snow. So yeah, this snow golem army is going to be nuts. Although I did see something around here that uh, that piqued my interest. Let's just say that. If I just go around this corner, I think it was like around here. Am I being dumb? Maybe. It wouldn't be the first time. Aha. There it is. There is another raid tower. And am I going to kill the main pillager? I'm not too sure. I don't think we should right now. I think we need to get a snow golem army first. Maybe it can help me fight our battles. Wait, are there any allies here? I don't think there are. Oh, there's the one we need to kill. Would we be able to defeat one? I mean, we've got an infinity bone. We've got decent armor, I suppose. What's in here? Oh, we get a horn. Wait, is it a different kind of horn? No, it's the same one. We'll take it though, I suppose. I'll take all this because, I mean, I just love stealing from these guys. You know, why not? Oh, we can kill you with no problem at all. But should I kill this other one? Where is he? Should I kill the one with the banner? I'm not too sure. Oh, wait, there he is. Should I kill him and just do a raid right now? Ladies and gentlemen, you know what? We're going to go for it. I don't want to do it when I've got a snow golem army because I don't want to risk their deaths. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it is time for a raid. I've got all these arrows in me, but you know what? We're just going to go for it. We've got about a billion here trying to kill us. Oh, we now have bad omen. There we go. Right. I think it's uh, I think it's time. Let's just get rid of you. Get rid of you. And get rid of you. And you as well, of course. Now, I'm going to keep this banner. I'm going to head home. And it will be time to do a raid. Because we need a totem. I keep risking my life in this world. And I don't want to be risking it anymore without one of those golden, beautiful totems. So let's go. Let's go home. We've got some business to attend to. Oh, I can see a house. I can see Spencer. It's time. Am I going to need anything else for this? Wait, what was that down there? Oh, it's just a piece of rotten flesh. But am I going to need anything else for this fight? I don't think so. I mean, we've got a trusty bow so we can just spam from afar. We've obviously got full diamond armor. I think we should be good to go. Let the raid commence. You know, we've got this. I believe. Come on, villagers. Where are you at? Come and attack me. I, I dare you. Okay, I haven't heard the horn thing, but I'm gonna guess they're coming from, like, this direction, because I haven't seen them yet. Come on, where are you? Don't, don't hide. I mean, I'm saying don't hide. Imagine they just, like, killed me right now. Oh, they are on top of my house. Wait, what? Hey, what are you doing? Get down from there. Get, get, get down. Come here. Come on, come and fight me. Am I literally gonna have to build up to those with my pumpkins right now that are gonna be part of my snow golem army? Come here. Get over here. I, I really hope they don't keep going like this, but wait, are they, are they, are they not gonna shoot me? Hello? Shoot me. Come on. Take a shot. 
What? They just aren't shooting. Wait, they're not attacking. This is so weird. Is it because they're on my house and not in the village? I do not know what's going on right now, but I mean, I am not complaining. Are you going to shoot? Now you are. Okay. I wish I could just go back to the time where they weren't shooting me now. Come on, where's the next wave? Wait, I think I can hear it from the wait i don't know what direction i heard it from oh this direction okay no 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 stop running to my house get over here oh no you've got an axe i forgot about you okay we're just gonna have to shoot you with a bow because i do not want to go near you i do not want to fight i don't want to get smacked up by a metal axe get out of here oh no there we go okay yeah this this golden apple might have to come in clutch at some point to be honest hopefully not though hopefully we should be chilling i suppose we'll find out oh we've got some more here we are what we're gonna do is just bow you guys from over here i don't want to get too close you know i don't want to i don't want to get beaten up so we're just gonna snipe you and we're gonna keep sniping you until you're all dead. I've just eaten to get me to full health. Oh, this guy's charging at me so fast. Wait, since when were they that fast? What? How is this guy? Is it because there's no one on him? He's got... Wait, what is going on? You are charging at me at like a million miles an hour, buddy. Can you just get out of here, please? Quick. Okay, there we go. That scared me. I thought that was about to be it. Come on. I... I wait. Why did that arrow not... Huh? What, what is going on with this guy? Hello? I do not know. But anyway, there we go. Maybe a couple left down here somewhere? Where is he? Um... Are you around here, buddy? Maybe in the village? I am so confused right now. There's one more and I have no idea where he is. Is it a witch, maybe? Maybe it's in like a cave or something just hidden. Cows, do you know where he is? No, I don't think they do. Oh, and it's starting a new round, apparently. Don't know what happened there, but oh well. Well, well I'll, I'll take it. Makes my life easier, I suppose. Oh, we've got the next round all the way over here here for some reason yo do you guys want to just hang out or do you want to fight i get the feeling that you want to fight so let's just do this I'm gonna spam all of you with arrows oh we've got this witch trying to get away get back here don't kill my villagers these are these are my friends i need them for trades come here i think there's one with an axe there he is yep yeah, there we go <gasps> okay we're gonna run we're gonna run actually this is a good time to use a golden apple i am not risking it i'm sorry but it had to be done get away from me please sir we're gonna shoot you we're gonna shoot the witches so they oh no 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 no! don't go too close to me please sir let's shoot you so you can't get away there we go i'm just gonna eat to make sure i'm fully healed and we're gonna go ahead and kill you there we go we're getting there oh they're here this time okay i'm not gonna lie we're just gonna spam arrows right now because i'm scared of any of them getting close to me no 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 no! stay away stay away okay we've got the wizardy guys that are gonna give me a totem all right i am just gonna absolutely keep my distance we're not gonna go in with a sword whatsoever we're just gonna spam this bow and to be honest hope that the bow doesn't break because if this bow breaks i will actually be finished Although we can actually save a bit of the uh, the bow durability by swording these guys. I don't think they're going to do too much damage to me. Although these guys over here are a bit of a different story. We're going to spray these with arrows. There's one gone. Oh, how are you dodging my arrows? What is going on there? There's another. Oh, we'll take the emeralds. Why not? Where are the wizardy guys? I don't know. We've got a couple more of these ones we need to destroy. Trick shot. Oh, that didn't that didn't work. Oh well. I'm gonna eat my last potato. And where are the others? I've got no idea. Are you are you destroying my villagers? Wait, okay, here you are. Okay, let's spam some arrows. No, we're poisoned. Get out of here, witch, and get out of here, Mr. Wizardy guy. Oh, yes, there's a totem. Okay, at least that can actually save us in this fight. We're going to eat some carrots that I don't know how I got. Maybe from the pillagers, I've got no clue, but we'll, we'll use them. We don't really have any other food on us. Where is the next level going to be from? Okay, it's over here again. Okay, we're just going to spam arrows once again. So just give me a second. <laughs> Um, I don't know what happened there. As you might have seen, I didn't have to shoot that many arrows. I think half of them just, like, despawn, which is kind of annoying because I need more totems. But, I mean, I suppose, once again, it makes my life easier. But now we're going to have to spam the arrows once again. And there we go. I think that is the raid over. I will now collect my collect my winnings, collect my totems. I think there was one. Yeah, there's one over here. So that means we've got like four total. Yeah, four total, including the one in my hand. I think a pretty successful raid, if I do say so myself. A deserved rest indeed. And now with a new morning and a new start to the day, I suppose it's time for that snow... Wait, snow globe? Snow golem army that we were talking about. I'm going to place... Wait, how do you do it? Just to double check. Is it like that? Wait. Oh, I haven't carved the pumpkins. Wait, if I do that, does that... Wait, how do you carve a pumpkin? Don't you just right-click it with an axe? 
Wait, what? I am so confused. How do you make a carved pumpkin? Um, I swear you just right click them, right? Do I need to put them in a crafting table? No, that just makes seeds. Oh, wait, I think you need shears instead of an axe. Okay, wait, I don't know why I'm going down here. My chests are up here. I need to make some shears. I don't have any, I don't think. Have we got any iron available? Yeah, we do. Okay, wait, if I just place... Oh, there's a creeper there. Run, 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 run. So if I do that and then shear it while it's on there does that work yes there we go all right we're gonna call this one spencer that one's spencer and this one's spencer everyone say hello to spencer look at that he's doing his job already he just put some snow down all right here's what we're gonna do we're gonna place all of the snow and then we'll do the pumpkins and then after we can carve all of them and just have a giant army this is gonna be so sick dare i say it there might even be too many snow golems actually you know what we can never have too many snow golems although we can definitely have too many creepers why is why is bro following me right now? Huh? Well, I suppose he's not going to be following me anymore. Let's just take these pumpkins. I forgot. Wait, why is that? Oh, yeah, good when I was doing the raid. I was going to say, I completely forgot why I actually put them there. Those pesky pillagers up there. Oh, well, at least that raid's done, though. Hello, Spencer. How are you doing? Are you, are you having fun? Maybe if we build up... <gasps> Wait. Do they attack creepers? Oh my goodness, they actually do. Wait, I did not know that. Yes, go Spencer. Wait, I didn't know they actually attack mobs and stuff. Wait, this is sick. It's like a little uh, a like a little turret. Go on, Spencer. Keep firing. You've got this buddy with your aimbot. Here we go. Watch. I'll, I'll give you a little helping hands. There you go. You did it. Good job, buddy. Oh, we're actually gonna have so many snow golems roaming around this place. It'll be good though. It's gonna be it's gonna be cool. Look at all of these things. Imagine these snow blocks just moving around. That's basically what's gonna happen. Should we put some on the ice as well? Why not? I don't know how they work on the ice. If they if they can move, if they slip around or not. I've got no clue. But we're gonna we're gonna go for it anyway. Why not? Hopefully they uh, hopefully they bring their ice skates. They can have a little have a little dance about. Didn't mean to place those there. Well, I suppose I suppose the snow golem can sort that issue out. Cover it back up with snow. Doing what they do best. Well, doing that and apparently destroying mobs is what they do best. I did not know they just fire snowballs at them. That is cool, though. Anyway, though, we're on to our last couple. There's one there and one there. Right. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. I mean, I don't know, like how this is going to work if they're all going to if there's like a, a spawn cap or something or if i can just do the max amount i want to but i suppose it's time to just um make these things a reality i'm going to place all of these and then we're just going to go around sharing every single one making them carved making them into actual iron got iron golems snow golems is what i mean i keep saying iron golems it's because i'm not used to snow golems i usually have like i'd, I'd never make these things because i mean usually i don't really have a need to but now we definitely have a need to for for this world's to be even cooler and even Christmasier. <laughs> you get it cooler? Like cool because it's cold? Yeah. Anyway, let's place these pumpkins. Not there, but indeed there. And there. And there. And there. Okay, I'm going to stop now. This looks so stupid. It's just like a massive army of these things, but none of them are actually able to move until I do that. Wait, no. I forgot I'm not using my axe. I'm using shears. There we go. You're the first of probably about 100 of my snow golems. Well, actually, you're the second. We've got Spencer over there somewhere. How do you feel, buddy? Are you happy? Yeah, I, I thought so. Actually, there probably is over 100 here. I think maybe about 110, 120-ish. All my food supply is running out very quickly. What food have I got up here? I pro probably have some. I mean, I hope I have some. Um, 11 raw beef. That'll have to do for now. Wait, why have I got all this stuff still in my inventory? Anyway, what am I doing? There we go. Clean that right up. Gonna eat my raw beef. Don't do that in real life. I don't think it's a good idea. We've got our shears. We've got our empty inventory. It's time to get ourselves a hundred snow golems. Look at these guys just multiplying by the second. Every time I click these shears, they're like magic. Every time I click them together, they just spawn in a snow golem. Look at this. We've got a snow golem army going on and we are not stopping there. Let's just keep going. This thing is going to be insane. I'm actually so excited for this. Oh, and they're firing at a spider already. No, he didn't do anything to you, buddy. Wait, did the mobs that they attack attack them back? I hope not because I don't want any of my snow golems dying. Oh no, the spider does attack. Go on, snow golem army. Team up on him. I'll let them do that while I just carry 
carry on getting these guys. We've got the ones that are going ice skating right now. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I'm so happy. I wish I could like dress them up in little like scarves and stuff. Maybe we could do that with the giant one over there. No, the spider's killing my golems. Okay, you know what? I'm going to give the, these guys a helping hand because I don't think the, uh, <laughs> the snowballs do that much damage. So they just end up getting attacked. It's fine. I had to give them a little helping hand. I hope they don't do this at nighttime when there's loads of mobs because... I've got a feeling that they won't survive. Anyway, though, I think this is the last one. Oh, no, we've got some more over here. We've got the second last one. And I believe... Oh, no, there's still even... I, I can't tell which I've shared and which I haven't. All right, I think these are the last ones. Three, two... One. Oh my goodness. Look at this place crawling with snow golems. This is amazing. I love this. And I've got about a billion pumpkin seeds if I ever want to make myself a little pumpkin patch. Get a little uh, pumpkin carving business going for Halloween. You know, why not? Wrong time of year, but you never know. They might come in handy. Wow. How cool is this? Look at the snowballs on the floor. Where have they even come from? I've got no clue. Maybe from the spider killing some. But here we go. We've now got a snow golem army of over a hundred snow golems. This is, this is quite cool i'm happy i'm happy with this although i'm not really happy with my food supply look at this i'm literally i've got five raw beef left we need to go and fix this come on guys you can you can come in just don't make it too oh, i was gonna say don't make it too snowy in here but y you know what do what you like at this point i suppose while i go ahead and grab a furnace do we have any potatoes here we go 56 and we'll grab some more here so we've got a stack grab our nine coal and we're gonna put that in there so i've actually got some food to eat that should be enough jacket potatoes we'll let the rest cook in there just while i'm using these ones and that should to be fair last us the rest of the 100 days oh look it's snowing out here oh my goodness this is so cool but you know what isn't cool there's something i need to build and it's not built yet you see with all these snow golems there's something i would like to do for these guys you know they're roaming around just out here in the cold i want to build something for them and for that i needed a lot of snow so it's a good thing they're here just to uh, cover it back up when i've stolen it you might be able to guess what the build is you might not be able to it's kind of you know wintery but i want to build something for these guys pretty much i'll probably build it like maybe over here because it's quite like a big space like i said what we're gonna have to do is grab a bunch of snow i'm hoping my shovel isn't about to break but i suppose we'll find out worst case i can always go make another i think i have some diamonds and stuff left anyway i'm having to like tap my mouse right now because if i just hold it i'm pretty sure the dirt will break and i don't really want that they've cursed of having just such amazing tools oh it's terrible isn't it oh and look i just realized all the snow is regenerating because it's snowing as i'm breaking it all okay this is this is good it's like a like an infinite snow method look at this we are already at let me just turn it into blocks 40 snow blocks ladies and gentlemen we're gonna need more than that so let's get to work Okay, we have retrieved the snow. I'm not sure if you've worked out what I'm going to be building yet, but we are actually going to have to get rid of all of this. Wait, do I have a... Oh, no, my shovel broke. Okay, great. We're going to we're gonna have to go make a new shovel. That is the first job on our to-do list. I think I actually went through two shovels getting all that snow. Oh, well, though, I'm pretty sure we've got enough, uh, enough diamonds. So let's grab two sticks and one diamond. Hopefully one shovel. Yeah, actually, one shovel would definitely be enough. I am sure of it. So, yeah, like I said, we're going to have to get rid of all of this dirt because we of course want a flat surface to build on i don't know what we're going to do for the flooring if we're going to keep it glass and dirt if we're going to change it up maybe make it snow even i don't know we'll figure that out after but ladies and gentlemen i am going to be building these guys an igloo to stay in a pretty big igloo and now i'm realizing it's literally going to be built out of their flesh because they're made of snow sorry about that buddy but i mean hopefully you'll enjoy it either way only thing is i'm really unsure about what the shape is going to be like or if i'm even going to be able to build it right it might be a lot of trial and error i cannot imagine that this is going to go too well first time but you never know i suppose i'm sure it'll look fine um i i hope anyway i've got the snow we've got some space i am gonna try and now build these guys a new home wish wish me luck because i can't imagine this is gonna go great um yeah, I don't think this is really going to cut it. Look at all the snow we've got and look at what I've built. I thought I thought this was going to be bigger. Yeah. Um my my bad. Let's let's give this another go.
Okay, I'm gonna admit, it's not the best igloo in the world, but it will do for now, you know? It can store, it can store our, um, what are they called again? Snow golems? <laughs> I'm just forgetting at this point. What do you think of the quartz? I used it to, of course, build snow on, but it also kind of blends in, to be fair. Kind of cool. We're gonna, we're gonna just ignore this really scuffed floor right now. I also don't know if we can put light in here, because I don't want the snow to melt. But if, if the snow golems wanna, wanna, you know, have a little rest in here, they can do. Although, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a lot of them have died to mobs. We've got a couple here. We've got one over here. Bear in mind, we literally built, like, over 100. Um, yeah. There's, there's like three left. What is going on? I feel like in 200 days, maybe we should just do like a thousand of them. Maybe even put like a fence here and then just build a bunch in here so mobs can't get to them. I don't know. At least we've got Spencer still. He's, he's still kicking. But yeah, um, I, I think, I think they picked some fights with some mobs and, uh, they just couldn't win the battles. Could, could you? No. At least Spencer's still alive. We're just, we're just going to assume that this one's Spencer. But as you may have noticed, we've still got one more thing to do. Our house is looking ugly. And it's unfortunate because I think it's a cool looking house. We just haven't added much to it. We've got some windows upstairs, but we've got like none down here. We've got no sort of decoration whatsoever. No Christmas decoration. We don't even have a Christmas tree outside. In fact, that's actually a good point. We need to do that. So we're going to get rid of this nether portal. Hopefully, if I put it somewhere else it won't mess up my nether spawn i don't want to put it somewhere else and then when i go to spawn in the nether it just like puts me in a lava lake but i mean fingers crossed it doesn't so there's block number seven number eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 and 14. There we go. We've got some space now for stuff outside the house. I'm going to have to go and collect some materials to obviously do this. It's going to be a bit annoying trying to make it actually work and look good. But I've got faith in us. We've got our full diamond armor. We've got pretty much everything we need for this to be a successful 100 days. Apart from the house. Literally, the house in the other 100 days, the deserted island, I loved. It was the cherry blossom one. It looks cool. I think it looks pretty good. But yeah, this one, this one is looking a little bit too plain for my liking. But ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to fix that. But I think we've got the ingredients to absolutely transform this house. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally going to have somewhere nice to live. This thing is going to look insane by the end. I am very excited. To be fair, it might look so good that we might have to destroy the, uh, the Mr. Spencer over here because it's making it look worse. Actually, now we can never do that to you, buddy. What am I talking about? But yeah, we are absolutely about to transform this thing. I'm not sure if we're going to put like a Christmas tree over here or what we're going to do. I, I suppose you'll see in a second. We're going to do some windows here. I'm thinking maybe some sort of like decoration going around here like christmas lights obviously uh christmas lights aren't specifically a thing in minecraft unless you obviously get a resource pack but we'll put something here we'll figure it out maybe just some like colored wool i don't know we'll have to figure it out i might have to go out and get some more materials but that shouldn't be too difficult possibly some leaves some flowers and stuff around here i'm just not sure because it might look odd because there's snow surrounding it all i definitely think some more lanterns and lighting just some sort of lighting would be nice of course big windows here maybe if there's a way we can have like snowmen around here that aren't gonna like escape like if we lock them in here maybe i'm not too sure oh i've got some dark oak you know dark oak slabs or not sorry slabs trap doors would be a good idea because they actually look like chocolate that'd be uh very fitting for christmas so i suppose we better go ahead and get this done we've got our armor we've got our tools we've got our dragon egg we've got spencer we've got 72 levels we've got our farm we just don't have a very christmasy looking house we've got the base layer but not the actual thing so ladies and gentlemen I think it's time. Ladies and gentlemen, the house is complete. What do you think? We've got some candy canes. We've got a Christmas tree. On Christmas Day, these chests will actually look like presents. I think they do like a texture pack thing on Christmas Day. But yeah, we've got the little leads up over to the house. We've got these little stepping things. I think these are kind of cool. Just like a little pathway going to our actual house. More candy canes. And then you can actually go inside. We've got these little slabs here. We've only got a couple because, of course, I didn't have that much dark oak. But we've got a couple up here. We've got Santa... Wait. Santa's Grotto? Zetro's Grotto? 
Whoa. Yeah, I don't know. I thought that was a cool little addition. But yeah, let me know what you think. We've got these things up here. I say things. I mean, redstone torches. They're not very, uh, they're not very good looking. But I don't know. They kind of reminded me of like Christmas lights. But yeah, let me know what you think. If I go over here, you can actually see upstairs. We've added a couple more candy canes because I thought they were quite easy to do since we had a decent amount of redstone and of course iron. We've got our windows all finished. We've got a little chimney up there. I don't have any cobwebs because I mean, I don't have silk touch to grab any cobwebs but i think it looks cool nonetheless we've got these little things i have no idea what they are or why i did this i just thought they added a little bit of detail to the roof i suppose maybe but ladies and gentlemen that is the house complete and the hundred days in a snow only world complete as well hopefully you enjoyed this video i might actually do 200 days because this was quite fun we've got our igloo we've got a snowman we've got our house we did have hundreds of snow goblins but um yeah in 200 days i feel like we're gonna need like 10,000. we've got our totem we've got all our diamond gear spencer looking absolutely amazing we do need to work on the inside of the house we unfortunately just just don't have time for this episode. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye bye.